streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Tampa Bay, free has never sounded so good. It's Thursday from Pinellas Park to Trinity and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Welcome aboard on a Thursday afternoon. It is The Drive with T. Kraz, Tom Kraz, Nikki. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Great to have you with us live inside the Root Air Conditioning Studios. Executive producer Chris Mathis also along for the ride. We'll be with you the next four hours. So It is great. So strap in and get ready because here we go. We are live inside the Root Air Conditioning Studios, and we're live in living color at 95.3 FM, the mighty 620 AM, powerful stick. You need to have a powerful stick nowadays if you want to compete. We've got the powerful stick. You better believe it, buddy. And don't forget to download the iHeartRadio app. Crystal clear reception through the app. It is great. And, of course, we're streaming the show. You guys should know it. You better be watching today, too, on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube TV. Like and subscribe at 953-WDAE because later on, we're going to give you not one, but two more chances to join us in a sweet drive night out tickets. We're going to give away a pair during Let It Ride at 430. And because we're off the air tomorrow because the Rays play an afternoon affair out in Colorado, a 4-10 first pitch with our guy Zach Littell on the mound. Best of luck to him. We're going to move mailbag up to today at 5.30, you freaking people. So we have two opportunities for you guys to join us in a suite a week from Friday, April the 12th. Rays, Giants, a Friday night, food, drink. It's going to be awesome. You get to hang out with us in a suite. Watch a Friday night Rays game against a pretty good Giants team with Blake Snell. And you never know, you know, Blake Snell. I got to look at the pitching pairing pairings and to see uh, if Blake Snell is scheduled to go in that series. I think the answer is yes, but now I'm going to check just to make sure because that would be awesome. Can you imagine Blake Snell? Versus the Rays, and let's see what do, 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 do. Sunday. He is scheduled to go in the game on Sunday against Zach Eflin. That's a great pitching matchup. That's the final game of the Giants Rays series. That's a week from Sunday, April the 14th. On Friday's game, looks like Tyler Alexander will go for the Rays. That's a 650 first pitch next Friday, April the 12th. But you can be there. Devil Rays uniforms, Randy Land, everything else, a Friday night home game. So two pair of tickets. These are the final two pair as well for you to join us in a suite for drive night out tickets. Speaking of the Rays, he's coming up at the bottom of the hour. He may or may not be too thrilled with yours truly after yesterday's rant regarding the Rays after they lost the afternoon game and Brandon Lau's injured. But one thing I've known about Eric Neander, and I've known him really well for the last several years, I don't know, seven or eight years, however long it's been, he's a stand-up guy. And I'm telling you, you're not going to – go look it up right now. You're not going to find another president of baseball operations or a GM of any of the other 29 teams in Major League Baseball that does a weekly radio hit. Go find it. You won't. But he comes on here each and every week, win or lose, whether the team is going great. And he's always, you know, very cautiously optimistic, even when things are pointing in the right direction. And when things are going bad, he's a stand-up guy. He's there saying, you know what? Yeah, we got to be better. I've got to be better. 
we have to do this right. We got to do that right. We got to scout it better. We got to pitch better. We got to hit better. Eric Neander will join me at the bottom of the hour after the Rays finished off their first homestand at three and four. Not good. Speaking of not good, uh, Mark Topkin, Tampa Bay. To- oh, a little bit. Ta- la, 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 la. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Bit. Come on, man. Mark Topkin, Tampa Bay Times, Tampa Bay.com, Rays beat writer. Did he tell you that he was going to be in Colorado when we call him? Did he make the trip yet? Um, he told me that all things were aligned with his flight. He should be on schedule with the flight, so he will make it work at 4.05, but he didn't specify. So, yeah, I would assume so. All right. So we'll talk to Topper at 4.05, and we'll ask him about the race start, the injuries, the upcoming road trip, and everything else. We had Zach Littell on the show what was it? Yesterday, two days ago, he'll be the starter tomorrow. He's been pretty good. But Topper will join us at 4.05. Let it ride at 4.30. Come on, give me a marker. And then at 5.30, of course, the mailbag, you freaking people, as we take you up until 7 o'clock. There is so much to get to between the Rays, the Bucks, Randy Gregory meeting with the media today, the Lightning with a huge win last night as well. There are some other things happening right now that I take exception to. And I'm going to get into that, too. But it is time now for our opening drive. Start the engine. Gas to the floor. Here's the opening drive. So I came on here yesterday after the Rays lost the final game of that series against Texas. They lose two out of three to the defending champs. They drop the three and four in the season. There is some things to be concerned about with the Rays. And I would just caution people by saying... If you're going to count them out, do so at your own peril. We are seven games into the season, and I was looking over some numbers, and I'm thinking, okay, this could be better. That could be better, certainly. And I'm looking at the numbers in terms of the offense. You know, Yandy Diaz, who led the American League in hitting from a year ago, he leads the team. He's got seven hits so far in seven games. He's got a home run. He leads the team with six RBI. He's hitting 269. I think he's going to be better than that. You know, he had a major opportunity in the game yesterday in the eighth inning with two runners on, and he swung at the first pitch, which is something he rarely does unless he feels like he can drive that ball. He didn't. He popped out the shallow right field, didn't get the job done. Ahmad Rosario didn't get the job done either right after him in that eighth inning, and the Rays were turned away. Nate Evaldi was fantastic as they lost that game, unfortunately. No, Jose Caballero. I would give this guy more rope if I were a Rays fan. And he almost tied that game in the ninth inning last night or yesterday afternoon. And, yeah, there were a couple of misplays, you know, an inning before. But let's give that guy a little bit of a break so far. Because he wasn't their first choice at shortstop. The Rays' first choice at shortstop is hiding somewhere in the Dominican Republic. His name's Juan DeFranco. I don't know if you heard of him. They didn't go up there and tell you. That's the guy the Rays wanted at shortstop. And in the offseason, Eric Neander, and he'll join us in 20 minutes, he did the right thing. Maybe he knows more about the Juan DeFranco situation than they're letting on. And look, that's their business. He's not going to talk about it publicly. And by June, we're going to know one way or another where exactly that stands. But Jose Caballero was the plan B. They do have Ahmad Rosario. He can play short. By the way, Junior Caminero is down at AAA, the 20-year-old. I think his body, which is still growing, and he's got the quad injury now. Thankfully, it wasn't a serious deal. He injured his quad down at Durham a couple of nights ago. But again, not a serious injury, which is good news for the Rays. Hey, Good injury news for a change. But Kevin Arrow is going to be up here sooner rather than later. The shortstop of the future, in my opinion, is Carson Williams. And you saw him in the spring breakout game. And he's a guy that the Rays are really high on. He's got pop in his bat. He's a really good athlete, can run a little bit. I want to make this comparison. And I was telling people about this already, but... Gosh, I look at Carson Williams, and there is some Trey Turner to his game, believe it or not. Between the power and the speed and athleticism, you know, defensively, he's still coming along. It's a work in progress, but the tools are there. 
So he may very well be your shortstop of the future. But, you know, Caballero has been okay so far, hitting 316. Yeah, defensively, he could be better. But it's seven games. Let's give him a little bit more time. And I know the bullpen hasn't performed well, but I'd like to give them a little more time too. Now, they walked a lot of guys in the first five games. The number was 26. In the last two games, just four batters. So they're trying to get better in that aspect. And Garrett Clevenger is the one guy that I'm pointing to who definitely needs to pick it up. Right now, opponents are hitting 313 against him. We know Adam is good. We know Fairbanks is good. We know Poche is good. So I, I think the bullpen is fine. We know Sean Armstrong is definitely a proven commodity back there. I think the Rays bullpen is still one of the best. Again, seven games in. Let's give it a little more time on that, too. And the starting rotation, look, Zach Eflin was tremendous the other night against a really good hitting team in Texas. Now, the first outing, really good for like five innings, and then the roof kind of caved in on him a little bit, gave up three home runs against Toronto, really good in his second start. Aaron Savali, he's two for two. ERA of 1.50, he's fine. He's good. He's made some tweaks a little bit to his game and his delivery and certainly his battle plan out there, and it's working for him. And that's the Rays' way, man. They look at it. They analyze it. Okay, what can we do better? And they attack the problem head on. And it could be something subtle like a delivery or pitch selection or moving a guy from the third base side of the rubber to the first base side of the rubber. It's these minor little tweaks that the Rays look at. That can instantaneously turn a guy around. Like Zach Littell. We had him on the other day. And I asked him about it. Like, hey, what is the Rays' way? He's like, look, they're great with people. They're great with me. They brought me in. They're looking at me. They're asking questions. They're looking at tape. And then the next thing you know, they're giving me all the confidence in the world to go out there and do my thing. And Zach Littell's been a revelation. Zero earned runs in his first start against a good Toronto team. He'll, de he'll take the ball tomorrow afternoon against Colorado, a bad team. But right now, you got three starters that you can lean on. How many teams in Major League Baseball do you think that you can look at objectively and say, you know what, there are three starters that you can count on there? Hey, it's not many. It's not. And right now, the Rays, early on, I think Eflin is still good. Savali has been really good in two starts. Zach Littell. Whatever the Rays have done with that guy, it's working. So let's keep that going, huh? He's fantastic. He really is. So the Rays right now have three starters you can lean on. And hopefully they can get Taj Bradley back. And that's going to be the key to this entire season is whether or not these arms that are on the men then coming back, can these arms get back just in the nick of time to try and save the Rays? Because... The Rays really need to keep their heads above water for like 40 games. I was talking to somebody in the hallway right before the show. And that's the mark, right? There are certain checkpoints during the season. That's when you get to, and then you evaluate your team. The first one isn't until Memorial Day weekend. When you get to Memorial Day weekend, then you can take a step back. Okay, what are we doing well? What are we doing not so well? What can we approve upon? Who's hurt? Who's not hurt? That's when you seriously evaluate your team right around Memorial Day. But for me, it's like 40 games. Can the Rays keep afloat after 40 games? If you're 15 and 25, then yeah, that's a problem. But if you're like, I don't know, uh, 40 games, you know, you're not going to be, you know, 27 and 13 would be awesome. But I feel like 20 and 20 would be great. If you're 22 and 18, even better. So that's where the Rays need to be. 22 and 18, you know, 21 and 19 after 40 games. And then that way you can, you know, get some of the cavalry back, some healthy bodies back. Hopefully Josh Lowe is back. Hopefully Aranda's back. More importantly, Taj Bradley. Hopefully you get him back because it appears that he would be the first big-time arm 
who's got the greater chance of coming back. And I'll ask Eric Neander coming up in 15 minutes and then Mark Topkin at 4 o'clock. But which of those guys will get back the soonest? And if you're looking at the pitching side of it, hopefully it's Taj. Because if Taj Bradley can return, I don't know, in the next three or four weeks, say, you have to keep your head afloat for three to four weeks. Because you get Bradley back, he showed enough last year, and in spring training this year, the Rays did some things with him. They've been working with him on a number of different mechanical things. He could be that fourth reliable guy. And then, look, I think Pepio is a high upside arm. And again, before the season, he's a young guy. Some good outings, some bad outings. That's what you're going to get out of him. You just got to go with the flow. You got to work with it. He's he's a very young pitcher who hasn't pitched a whole lot of innings so far in the, in the big. So, you know, he deserves, you know, a little bit of a grace period. You're going to have to work with him a little bit because you know the upside is going to be great. And when he starts to hit his stride, you're talking about a guy who could be a top-of-the-rotation type of pitcher. I, I really believe that because between his fastball in the mid to high 90s and his slider is also plus pitch, he's working on the changeup. It, it didn't go well the other night to Josh Young. That circle change was, um, yeah, right over the heart of the plate. And it didn't work well for him. But... Here's a guy who's only thrown, you know, 84 innings. This is his third big league season. So 42 innings last year with the Dodgers. So he's still trying to discover himself. But here's the bottom line. 40 games. If you're the Rays. You know, you got to even things out. You got to get to like 20 and 20. It, it can't look like 15 and, you know, 25. That's what you don't want after 40 games. It's a long, long season. And as long as you can just kind of, you know, keep your head above water, you know, lean on three starting pitchers, the bullpen to nurse some leads, you know, guys got to get hot at the plate. And hopefully if they can do that, the Rays will be fine. Look, they're going on this road trip. Colorado stinks and the Angels are terrible. Angels got one player. It's Mike Trout. Really one bona fide player up and down that team. So, you know, we talked about facing the Angels and the Rockies over the next two weeks. That's 10 games against those two teams because the Angels come here for four. So if you go six and four, I think I would take that right now. Seven and three would be phenomenal. And there's a chance the Rays can make it seven and three. And look, going on the road, I think, is the best thing for them. Go on the road. Get out of town. Go see other places. You're going to Colorado. The ball flies out of the park. Maybe the race can have some really good at-bats out there, score a lot of runs, which I'm confident that they'll be able to do. So, look, at three and four, I'm just surprised that so many people, boy, this team stinks. This season's over. Come on, based on what? Give me a break. It's seven freaking games. Come on. Give it some time. Jeez. And in terms of Brandon Lau, that's the one guy I am concerned with. Because, again, outside of one year, which was five years ago, 2019, the 39 and 99 year was, what, five years ago? That's the guy I'm concerned about. In the final year of his contract with a lot of different options, when Jonathan Aranda gets healthy, then I think you're looking at a righty-lefty platoon at second base, possibly, between Meade and Aranda. I really like Meade. I think he's the better player of the two, the better hitter. And I think in time, he could blossom into an everyday guy. But maybe the Rays are not ready to hand that over to him just yet. But I think that's a pretty good righty-lefty platoon at second base between those two guys. Translation, I think the Rays could probably do without Brandon Lau because... He's not healthy enough. He's not there. And there are other options that they can lean on. So that's the one thing that would concern me is Brandon Lau's injury again, as I talked about yesterday. And we're almost there. He's got to get healthy if that'll happen. And then maybe he goes on one of those streaks, and then you can get his trade value to a certain point. And I said this yesterday, a couple of 
you weren't listening, which, you know, is par for the course. Clown show, indeed. We'll get into that in the mailbag. But you need to get him back healthy because the Rays are not going to trade a guy who's injured. No one's going to want him. Get him healthy. Get him to the point where he's stroking it, extremely streaky. He's hitting a few home runs in a week. And then you ship him off. And that's exactly what I said yesterday. And that's the way the Rays should play it. We'll ask Eric Neander. He's going to join us in a few minutes. Mark Topkin at 4 o'clock. Let it ride 430 the mailbag, you freaking people. At 5.30, it is the drive with T. Kraz on your ride home on this beautiful Thursday in Tampa Bay. Your phone calls and texts are always welcome. Again, the final two pair of drive night out tickets. A chance for you to join us in a sweep for the Rays game against the Giants on Friday, April the 12th. We're going to give that to you. One at 4.30 during Letter Ride. Again, you have to be watching the stream. And again, at 5.30, I'm going to hold up a couple of cue cards with the keywords, like we've done all week. And the first person to call in with the keyword, you're going to win the tickets. All right, up next, what's really going on with Brandon Lau? How severe is that injury? Or will he be back this weekend potentially when the Rays go to Colorado? When is Taj Bradley coming back? Seven games in. Is it still too early to evaluate this team? So many questions. Hopefully we'll get some answers. My guy, the man, El Jefe, the race president of baseball operations, Eric Neander. He's going to join us next here on The Drive with T-Kraz. Hang on. You're locked in to The Drive with T-Kraz. Guys, whether it's an injury, accident, product liability, medical malpractice, you got to call on the personal injury law firm that's been there and done that. My guy's over at Catani Catania. That's the ticket. They don't get paid unless you get paid, and $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So protect your rights. Call them. Tell them I sent you. Catania and Catania is where it's at. 813-222-8545 or free evaluation of your case can be had online at CataniaandCatania.com. That's 813-222-8545. Over at Catania and Catania, guess what? They put families first. Office Tampa, not an attorney spokesman. Tomorrow, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner, home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Colorado Rockies. Coverage starts at 3. On the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. DAE traffic update. Earlier crash on westbound I-4 just before 275 now cleared. All lanes are open there, but traffic slow from before the Selman connector. Also, we're seeing delays through downtown Tampa on southbound 275. Crash just before Howard and Armenia in the right-hand lane. And we're seeing delays east and westbound Park Boulevard at 113th Street in Seminole. A crash there blocks a couple lanes. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Robert Half. Robert Half Research indicates 9 out of 10 hiring managers are having difficulty hiring. Robert Half is here to help. Their recruiting professionals use proprietary AI to connect businesses with highly skilled talent. At Robert Half, they know talent. Visit roberthalf.com today. What's the Anajar Levine difference? When you're injured in a car crash, we focus on your case so you can focus on the one thing that matters most, getting better. I'm Glenn Levine with Anajar Levine. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on the driver who treats the highway like a racetrack and the shoulder like a passing lane. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois.
Ronnie Lane here for Stephen Julie Weintraub at the Golden Diamond Source. You know, when it comes to April birthstone jewelry, diamonds take center stage, symbolizing love, strength, and eternity. Diamonds are a classic choice. First-time diamond buyer, and with the Golden Diamond Source first-time buyer program, they will educate you about the four C's and all the different shapes and styles. Only natural diamonds at the Golden Diamond Source. And remember, your Golden Diamond Source diamond never loses its value. You can always trade up your Golden Diamond Source diamond for a bigger, better one. They spend time to educate you about their diamonds and how to care for them. Spring clean your jewelry collection and find out how much your gold and diamonds are worth today. For the Golden Diamond Source's 40-year anniversary, they are celebrating by offering up to 40% off on select jewelry items. The Golden Diamond Source has been your trusted jewelry destination for 40 years. The Golden Diamond Source, 3800 Olmerton Road in Clearwater and always online at goldendiamond.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hey guys, Jay Retcher here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft coffee, cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Amelie Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grill wings and Ebor egg rolls. Fan favorites. And they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat? In downtown Tampa, my answer always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand and Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1 800 747 free for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Main office Tampa. Injured, hire the largest injury firm in the world. Morgan and Morgan for the people. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Partly sunny skies and windy conditions this afternoon. High, 75 degrees. Tonight cools down to 58 degrees under clear skies. Sunny and breezy tomorrow and Saturday. High, 77 degrees. This report is sponsored by Staples Store. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, the home for Team Tampa Bay over, over 20, 20 years, years and counting. counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Brandon, uh, just tightness in his side. It was really my call. He wanted to stay in the game. But given that we have an off day tomorrow and that um, I think we're getting a lefty game one, that should give him two full days to, to rest it and see where it goes from there. He felt it um, not during the swing. He just felt it was tight. That is Rays manager Kevin Cash from after the game yesterday on Brandon Lau who left the game with left side tightness. The Rays are three and four after their first homestand. Off day today and tomorrow, 
They go out to Colorado to begin their first road trip of the season. Welcome back. It is 3.30. It's The Drive with T. Kraz on your ride home on a Thursday. Great to have you with us. 888-546-4620. Your calls and texts coming up a little bit later on in the show, as well as let a ride, mailbag, two pair of tickets to drive night out. A chance for you to join us in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants on Friday, April the 12th. That's going to be great. So you'll have two more opportunities to do that a little bit later on in the show. Well, let's get more on the Rays and their start right now on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at CFBHN.org. The Rays president of baseball operations, Eric Neander, reluctantly joining me here on the drive with T-Kras on a Thursday. He's usually with us on a Friday. How's it going, E? Reluctantly, yes, yes. I'm <laughs> doing doing okay. Uh, making the most of an off day here to to get some things taken care of that I haven't been able to address. Having a game every day here for some time and spring training and all that. So just settling into the the rhythms and the routines of the regular season. Well, you know as well as anybody, you're only seven games in. You got a long way to go. So did you make the trip out to Colorado? Or are you staying behind? No, I'm at the trap right now and uh, gonna gonna stay behind for this one. Got a few other people on the road to uh, to take this one in, and uh, we'll greet them when they come back. Gotcha. All right, let's talk about Brandon Lau. I'm sure there's some sense of frustration on his side, and you heard Kevin Cash there. I, I think he did the right move in pulling him out of that game. But what can you tell us in terms of Brandon Lau and the left side tightness? Yeah, yeah as I said that team's going to take off later today. I'm not with them, but everything I was able to hear Cashy's comments when you played him before I got on there, and that is very consistent with where we are as of, of this moment. So everything today didn't wake up. Nothing got worse. Um, the comments, his his feeling of kind of feeling there was some soreness related to working out rather than anything attributable to a swing um, appears to be spot on. Didn't wake up any worse. Uh, woke up better, in fact, and as as Cashy mentioned post game yesterday, I think with a lefty going tomorrow, my guess is it'll just give him another day to make sure everything's flushed out of there. But uh, yeah, thankfully, it doesn't appear to be a, a situation where another lefty bat's going on the IL, and uh, that's a good thing for us, a great thing for us, and and for Brandon as well. It should be fine. So as of right now, probably not going on the injured list from what you've been able to gather. He woke up today I, feeling I good. I think. I think uh, very, 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 very likely Cash will, you know, have an update tomorrow. But it's, I think, as he said, he wanted to stay in the game. Cash pulled him out in part because we can't really afford to lose another lefty. And based on everything today, would would expect him in the lineup this weekend. And you mentioned that you're running out of left-handed hitters. Josh Lowe's already on the on the injured list. So is Jonathan Aranda. You don't want to have Brandon Lau go on there too. So how big of a problem is this? Yeah, it's, look, it's not it's not ideal. <laughs> it's not uh, you, you, you know anytime I mean, we face some righties here in the early going, some really good righties, and um, you know having J Lo and Aranda with our, our belief in him and what he showed us this spring, you know it'd be nice to have a few more on hand. But um, you know that's why you have Richie Palacios, you know, is to to put him in a position. Austin Shenton as we go along, et cetera. It it does open up some space for others to step up and. Um, you know, we have our, our most established hitters, you know, a lot of them are right-handed, you know, Yandy, Randy, you know, for example. So um, if our lineup does tip righty, you know, it's okay. I don't think it's the end of the world, but we, we do like to have a balance and we are missing a couple big ones um, as, you know, as I just noted. So stuff that happens over the course of the season, a little more frustrating because the end of last year, you know, we had that vulnerability as well with Brandon out, with Luke Raley out, you know, going into the postseason. I think we felt that a little bit, but um, it is what it is. Everybody has their, their injuries and it's opportunity for some others and you know, we'll be, we'll be okay. And we'll get those guys that are out back here. Not, not too far off. Eric Neander, the race president of baseball operations, is with us here on the drive. So seven games. Look, you've been around long enough to know there's not going to be any knee-jerk reactions or anything. But if there's one area of concern, maybe it's the lack of left-handed hitting. Is there an area of concern after seven games that you're thinking, okay, we need to keep track of this? Just keeping guys healthy. <laughs> is is the big one right now. I think I think beyond that, look, there's there's stuff you feel good about. There's some you know some observations, some players that you're confident that 
you know, better, better games days will be in front of them, all that stuff. Um, certainly in the ebbs and flows and just being careful not to, to react too much one way or the other. But I think by and large, you know, what we've gotten out of our starters, we've had a couple of innings that have blown up and gotten sideways on it. But I think for the most part, most of the innings, you know, as you go back through at each outing, um, been, you know, happy with, with the quality, you know, especially going up against a couple of good offenses. I think the, the walks, you know, have gotten us in a way that is very uncharacteristic, you know, from our staff, but confident that'll take care of itself in, in short order. Guys that are strike throwers, you know, are going to continue to be strike throwers. They go through blips, but just part of it. When all you have to look at seven games, there's a lot to think about, and analyze, and overanalyze. But I think all in all, um, feel pretty good about kind of how this team's rolling up and and how it'll compete this year. Aside, like I said, just getting some of those bats back in the lineup to help balance this out, I think will be a big thing for us. You mentioned the starting pitching, and I think there's three guys right now you have to feel pretty good about. Eflin rebounded. He looked really good the other night, throwing strikes, obviously, playing up to his game. Aaron Savali is two for two, two really good starts. So discuss Savali a little bit because he came over in the trade, and I know he wanted to pitch a lot better than what he did down the stretch. What kind of changes have you seen in him and his game? And I know you guys have been working with him that are making a big difference right now. Yeah, you know, I think it's just, the, the, but there's there's plenty of reasons that we acquired him, you know, in the first place. And like I said, the last time we talked, the the run prevention with us wasn't what it was in Cleveland. It felt like the, you know, the the truth of who he is is probably somewhere, you know, in the middle. And last year, I think he had like a three, just under three and a half ERA on the season. You know, if you put it all together, you know, looks looks pretty good. Um, and I think that's that's more of who he is. But certainly in the early going here, um, he's he's avoided the deep at bats. He last year there were a lot of pitches that were maybe an inch off. You know, a lot of borderline pitches that ran up counts, and you know things played out a lot differently than they did in Cleveland. It was going really deep into games. Just I think from what we've seen in the early going, um, you know, he's missed he's missed an inch in the zone rather than an inch out. You know, he's got more strike calls. He's got more ahead. He's commanded more at bats and has established his fastball, the sinker, you know, he's got the cutter, four seamer, just a lot of mix. And um, he's, he's just executing, I think at a at ever so slightly better clip than he did for us last year. And sometimes those, those very subtle differences can lead to dramatic differences in the, in the run prevention, but um, not, not surprised by any means. This is, I think who he is and he's going to have stretches like this. And sometimes you have stretches like he did last year, but certainly in a really good place here out of the gates. So the starting pitching is something, obviously, that you guys pride yourselves on, and we just talked about all the injuries. Who is the soonest guy that could come off the injured list that can really make a difference? Is it Taj Bradley? Is he the guy who's closest to a return in your estimation? Yeah, I think without without question. And, you know, as as we look at it, I think it's, you know, Taj was, was healthy all last year. This it's unfortunate this this peck issue was was truly very minor but it's just you know you take a ball out of the you know the hands of a starter for you know even if it's just 10 days you know you're you, you, there's an at workload you know atrophy so to speak you gotta start building back up go through go through everything and a seven to ten days of no throw can turn into you know six weeks of missed time before you're built back up but he is he's doing really well i think the month of april here will start getting them into you know games built out to to be back in our mix but um excited with you know the potential he demonstrated last year and then what we saw in camp you know the outing against the yankees in tampa um you know had us very optimistic about you know, the work he put in this winter and our expectations for him this year. So he's definitely, you know, at the front of that line. And then, and then we'll go from there. Um, Shane Boz has had this kind of nagging oblique situation. It's not a big deal. You just got to get it right. And also in a situation where he's, you know, coming off of two years of nearly entirely missed time, uh, you're not, you don't have a full workload to play with. So we'll get that right. We'll get him back, but that'll be a little bit later, you know, before he gets into consideration for opportunity to be passed first for sure. So you're thinking Bradley, late April, early May. I know once you stop him, you got to ramp him back up again, and I know that's always a process, right? Yeah, I think going through the exactly the the two inning outings to the three to the four to the five, and you know the big thing is you got you know once they're up, they just they've got to carry a workload. You can't really cover them up with the 13 pitchers you know on the roster. It's not necessarily fair to those around them. So I think we're probably roughly speaking a month out, you know, from him 
being built out to that five, six inning territory in a way that you think is responsible. But everything to this point is going as planned. Jose Caballero, one of your newcomers playing shortstop and, you know, defensively, I'm sure he'd like to have a couple of those plays back from yesterday, but he's hitting over 300. Just your overall assessment of him being practically your everyday shortstop, how you think he's doing? I know it's early. Yeah, no, it is. It is early, but I think, you know, we've gotten what we, what we thought we were going to get, you know, you did great job by our, you know, our pro scouting group and, and everyone as you're gathering information on, on the player, you know, our, R and D or analytics teams from assessing the abilities through their lens, you know, really understanding the the person, the competitor, um, like, like what we've seen, you know, they believe very much it's a, it's a winning baseball player with exceptional instincts for, for the game. Um, you saw it with the bunt he put down against Toronto, uh, with two outs, you know, they ended up with a little bit of a heated moment there on the other side, but you know, it's a winning baseball play. You know, he's, he's able to do those things. Just missed the three run homer last night. that would have tied the game in the ninth. Um, has stolen some bases, has had competitive at bats, done a lot of different things on the field. So, um, you know, we, we appreciate him and, uh, you know, we're happy to have him. And I think he's given us, uh, at least as much as what we're expecting going in and going to be a big part of what we're doing moving forward. So if, if Brandon somehow misses a few games, what is the short and long term solution? Uh, I know Aranda's still out. You got Curtis Mead. I know you think highly of him. I think Curtis Mead has got the ability to be an everyday second baseman. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think without without question. Yeah, we're we're in a spot where we've we've had some infielders really establish themselves. Uh, and you know, Brandon's done it for some time now. Yandi at first, Paredes with what he did last year, thirty and a hundred or thereabouts. Um, you know, or <laughs> he got some he got some good guys here. And and Curtis is in a position where um I, I don't know if he's flown under the radar a little bit, you know, but a lot of the Camonero attention, et cetera, in a sense that he he has. But this is somebody that has a very good track record of hitting. Um, he's, he, he puts together really good at bats. He can, he can drive the baseball from line to line and, uh, the work ethic's exceptional and he has worked incredibly hard at his defense and it, and it shows, um, he has put himself in a position where we're really comfortable with what he can do at third and second, uh, gives him some versatility, allows him to find a few different ways into the lineup. And look right now he's 23 years old. There's a lot in front of him, and we had a decision to make, you know, as to whether to send him to Durham to play regularly down there, or if, you know, having some time in Durham in 2022, 2023, is it better to give him kind of a part-time role in the big leagues um, and let him just do what he can with that? And felt like he could handle it, and it's hard for a young player to not play every day. Um, but if opportunities open up, we're confident he can take him. And you know, like you said, for Brandon, if things go where any of these guys are down. Uh, and it opens up a little more lane for Curtis. We do believe he's a player that has everyday potential and could very well be that this season if the opportunity is there where that's what we need him to do. Well, lastly, you just mentioned him, a guy who's got everyday potential down in Durham, 20-year-old Junior Caminero. I know he had the quad injury. The early reports are it's not that serious, so that's certainly good thing. Some good injury news for you, Hart, right? But yeah, yeah, where, we do. Where, <laughs> where is he at now, and what is the plan for him? You know, six to eight weeks down the road. Yeah, I think it's look. It's getting to a level that he hasn't experienced yet, playing every day, and then we'll see how he responds to those challenges. You know, a little more fastball velocity, a little more command and execution, better breaking balls, etc. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. The quad, like you said, it's, it's minor. Um, it's very day to day. You know, we're not talking about much missed time here. I think it's probably a week to take care of it. Right. Maybe a little longer, you know, depending on how things go, how the weather is, if it warms up, yada, yada. But, um, in terms of his development, offensively, just seeing how he responds to a little bit better competition, um, optimistic that that's going to go well for him. You know, that's the expectation. And then beyond that, it's, He's 20 years old. You know, it's it's going to be the rest of his game. You know, how's that developing? We harp on the importance of being a player that help you know helps us win on both sides of the ball. <laughs> Obviously, the more you help on one side, the less you need to help on the other. But it is important at 20 years old, but it potentially has um, to 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 be in a position to help us on both sides of the ball. He has that ability. So, um, continuing to work on the defensive side is going to be important. Where exactly that fits is something we'll continue to think about as as we go. Um, but we got plenty of time to, to sort through that as, you know, as we move along here. So, um, 
yeah, get them healthy, get them back, and see what kind of feedback AAA level gives them and go from there. All right, the Rays are up today. They'll be in Colorado tomorrow to kick off a road trip, and it'll be the first road trip of 2024. Of course, all the Rays games can be heard right here on your home for Rays baseball, WDAE. He's the Rays president of baseball operations, Eric Neander. E, I appreciate a few minutes as always. So do the Rays fans, and good luck on this road trip. We'll talk to you next week, buddy. Appreciate it. Let's do it. You got it. Thanks, Ed. That's Eric Neander. Good stuff there. So there you have it. It doesn't appear the Lau injury is serious. He woke up today feeling pretty good. We'll talk to Mark Topkin in about 15 minutes. We'll get his thoughts on that. We can get your thoughts at 888-546-4620. Your thoughts on the interview, 82945. You can text in your thoughts as well on the Bartow 4 DAE text platform there. All right, coming up, an enormous night last night for our local hockey team. Are you starting to get excited as to what the potential could be in April and then hopefully into May? Lightning talk coming your way next. It's the drive. Lock the preset. You're on the drive with T-Crabs. Guys, whether it's a car accident, motorcycle accident, truck accident, if you or someone you love has been injured in either of these circumstances, I know it can be a stressful time, you need to get on the phone with my guys over at Catania Catania, the personal injury law firm that's located right here. They've been doing their thing more than 30 years. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. And they've been doing plenty of winning over the years. A half a billion dollars has been recovered by my guys in counting, by the way, for injury victims just like you. So get with them. Tell them I sent you. They'll be with you every step of the way. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office tab by nine attorney spokesman. This is Tampa Bay Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM620, home of the best Bolts coverage. WDAE traffic update. Crash on eastbound I-4 near Alexander Street in Plant City. It's off to the left-hand side, one on westbound I-4 at 275. It's in the right-hand lane, and we're seeing delays on southbound 275 through downtown Tampa. Crash on northbound Dale Mabry, just north of Lambright near Hamilton, and a crash in Pinellas Park on eastbound Park Boulevard near 66th Street. With traffic, of Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized, inflation-adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit asktheHollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way 
literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute, I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade. <laughs> WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. For tickets and more info, visit 98rock.com. Join us April 5th through 7th at Armature Works in the Heights District for the WFLA News Channel 8 Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. Admission is free all weekend. Visit WFLA.com slash Outdoors Expo for more details. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. Come bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. Featuring bowling, food, and fun. Proceeds go to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. For tickets and more information, visit 98rock.com. Hi, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team at LPT Realty. The official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning combined with one of the fastest growing real estate firms in the country. What's that equal for you? An instant cash offer for your home. Get an instant cash offer at DuncanDuo.com. That's DuncanDuo.com. Sponsored by Howard Team Home Loans.com. Get ready for our iHeartRadio album release party with the Black Keys. Don't miss the iHeartRadio album release party with us, the Black Keys. On the night of the release of the band's new album, Ohio Players. From the iHeartRadio Theater in Los Angeles. We'll be performing and talking all about our new album. Tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. Listen on the free iHeartRadio app's alt radio station. This report is sponsored by Discover. As humans, we like having options. One option you might like is speaking with a real person when you call about your credit card. With 24-7 live U.S.-based customer service from Discover, everyone can talk to a real person anytime, day or night. Limitations apply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. Partly sunny skies and windy conditions this afternoon. High, 75 degrees. Tonight cools down to 58 degrees under clear skies. Sunny and breezy tomorrow and Saturday. High, 77 degrees. Book Market, 95.3 WDAE.com for all your Tampa Bay sports needs and more. Now, back to The Drive with T-Kraz on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. We, we got to get in there first, and, and uh, but it, are the Tampa Bay Lightning <laughs> better in April than they were in October November, December, we are. Where we're at, I can't sit here and say for sure, but you know, as, as we look in the mirror right now, we're better than when we started. You better believe it. That's Lightning head coach John Cooper after his team went to Toronto last night and smacked all the ass of the Maple Leafs. Uh, four to one was the final. You know, first period wasn't exactly the greatest. I know a lot of the players and John Cooper talked about that after the game, but then... As Nick Palm said it, we played faster, we were more physical. And the play in front of Vasilevsky was outstanding. Look, Vasilevsky's been great. He's been great. And that's been the biggest difference, I think, for this team. Now, the play in front of him has improved, but there were certain instances like that one big save he made in the second period where he can more than make up for a mistake that's made in front of him. That's why the guy is a future Hall of Famer, a championship goalie. And if he stays upright, if he continues to see the puck as well as he has, and the play in front of him is, you know, solid, Matt Dumba certainly leading the charge there, then I think the Lightning absolutely are a dangerous team come playoff time. And John Cooper, is, you know, he's being a little modest there. You're in the playoffs, man. In fact, they're only four points behind the Maple Leafs for third place in the Atlantic. And there's a chance it can catch them. The Lightning got seven games left. They get the Leafs back at their place on April the 17th over at Amelie. And look, they can make things happen. Now, coming off such an emotionally riveting victory, 
Four different goal scorers last night. They beat a Leafs team. They held them to just four shots on goal in the third period, which was fantastic, by the way. Now the Lightning go to Montreal against Martin St. Louis and Les Abitons. Matt Tompkins will be in net. You know, some guy they pulled off the street. Hopefully he can give them some solid play. You know, eh, you could have some heavy legs on the road. Back-to-back nights on the road is not an easy thing, especially when you've had such a physical game, such an emotional victory over a team that knocked you out of the playoffs in the first round in Toronto. You know John Cooper was loving that, by the way. And, yeah, you know, there were a couple of people around here that picked the Leafs over the Lightning. Look, I was one of them. But I can tell you something, and, you know, we still have seven games to go before the playoffs. I'm feeling a heck of a lot more optimistic about the Lightning now heading into the playoffs than I did sitting in this chair exactly one year ago. I was not optimistic because Vasilevsky, and he admitted it later on after they were knocked out by Toronto, he was not healthy, and he didn't look right. The defense in front of him, too many breakdowns, too many giveaways, too many odd man rushes. It's different now, man. You watch the Lightning play. They're playing a lot smarter on that end. Vasilevsky looks like he's focused, looks like he's healthy. He's seeing everything. He's reacting well. The Lightning are getting just incredible production out of that point Kucherov line. And how about Kucherov? Come on, man. If he doesn't get the Hart Trophy, there should be a federal investigation. And look, I know... McDavid is doing his thing. I know McKinnon is doing his thing. But from start to finish, Nikita Kucherov has been the best player in hockey consistently over the last six months. Can't argue that. Three assists last night, and he makes things happen. I know a lot of people are not necessarily up or hip on hockey, but you got to look at Kucherov as like, the Magic Johnson of hockey, if you're a big basketball fan. That's what he does. He's got eyes in the back of his head. And he knows where guys are before they even get there. That's how special he is. He's a playmaker. And when he shoots, he scores. In fact, you know, sometimes he doesn't shoot enough because he's out there facilitating for other guys. He's a special, special player. And he and Braden Point, man, they make Lots of magic happened together on the ice. Hagel at two assists. He was outstanding. Braden Point scoring a goal. You know, Blackjack Braden Point now with 43 goals on the season. He scored 51 last year. He's not going to get the 50 unless he has an incredible stretch. Unless he averages a goal a game over his last seven. I mean, he could get the 45, maybe 47. So this team right now is clicking on all cylinders. And how about the fight last night? Did you see that? Reeves and Janelle going at it. I love it. Drop the gloves, man. You know what? Stick up for your guys. Beat the hell out of them. It's the Maple Leafs, too. This is a team that knocked you out last week. Last year, rather. In the first round of the playoffs. So, I like it, man. Good for Kucherov! It is. And it's good for the Lightning. 888-546-4620. So, Really great win for the Lightning last night. I kind of felt like it was a must win considering that the Leafs had won the previous two meetings, both in overtime. And if you're going to catch them, you got to beat them and beat them in regulation. Lightning did that. Shut them down in the third period. Just four shots on goal. So outstanding job by the Lightning last night. And hopefully they can steal one tonight when they go to Montreal against Les Habitants. All right, one hour is in the books. Coming up here on The Drive with T. Kraz, more on the Rays, off day today. You just heard from Eric Neander, so Mark Topkin is standing by. He's covered this team since day one. So what about this start? What about the injuries? Is the Brandon Lau injury more serious than maybe the Rays are letting on? We'll talk to Mark Topkin, Tampa Bay Times, TampaBay.com next. You're locked in to the tribe with T Crags. Guys, whether it's an injury accident, product liability, medical malpractice, social security disability, 
I've been telling you about my guys over at Catania Catania for quite a while now because they've been doing their thing for three decades here in the Tampa Bay area. They don't get paid unless you get paid. They're smart. They're tough. They're tenacious. They've got a proven track record for success. $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. And they're always standing by to take your call 24-7, 365, unlike some other law firms. So call them. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or get a free evaluation of your case online at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not an attorney spokesman. So, you want the latest on the Rays from the inside pitch to the final out? Hey, fellow, we're on it. Highlights and interviews? We got them. News, scores, analysis? Yeah, I got that, too. We have a line drive in the center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. We follow the Rays better than anyone. All, all season long, we are your hardball hookup. This is the home of the Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Every once in a while in my job as an anesthesiologist, I will see a patient who comes in for orthopedic surgery who's very young. And it is really hard to kind of keep that on the inside because I know I could have helped that person. Dr. Daniel Zuckerman knows the younger you are, it's likely you'll require another joint replacement down the road. He also knows there's another path to relief without invasive surgery, and that's QC Kinetics. If only they could have come to QC Kinetics and tried regenerative medicine first. There's a really good chance that we could have helped save them from that surgery and use their own natural healing factors to heal their own joint and then they would still have their own joint in and not a piece of metal or plastic. QC Kinetics, the natural solution to agonizing joint pain, an alternative to surgery that you should check out before going under the knife. Call now for your free consultation. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. 813-305-3000. Texting enrolls you in a recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent are required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn. Ever since I turned 40, I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think you could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenics Total T. I've heard about Nugenics. That really works? Since I started taking Nugenics, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep, send a text. It's that easy. Text AREA to 42424 right now. Now, for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea, it's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now, and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenix Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text A R E A to 42424. That's AREA to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. Main office, Tampa. Hey guys, Jay Retro here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Emily Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls, fan favorites, and they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa? My answer, always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. T. Kraz here for my friends over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar. As a homeowner, I know the importance of having a strong roof over your head, and that's exactly what my guys over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar do. They're the number one roofing solution in the Tampa Bay area, offering free inspections. They offer a wide selection, asphalt shingles, tile, metal roofing options as well. They do residential and commercial. They have over 300 five-star reviews, so check them out. Visit their website, get an accurate assessment. Go to greentechroofing.com. Jake from State Farm. I just beat my running PR, so I'm celebrating. Keep celebrating when you bundle and save with the State Farm personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Bartow Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. 
We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Bartro Ford we're different and we prove it. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Annuity guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. DBA in Florida as Trajan Wealth Insurance Solutions. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge motor oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on Sequence 3 H test versus API SP test limits. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Looking for a career you'll love with flexibility, great pay, and benefits, and one of the country's top workplaces? Come join our growing team at Progressive Insurance. Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. If you ever need our help, we're just a call away. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. Where Rays fans continue to call home from day one. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellas Park. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Rays fans, free has never sounded so good. It's Thursday, from Wesley Chapel to Fishhawk, and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off, I'm playing hardball. It's 4th and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned in to the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're gonna like this guy, he's alright. He's a good fella, he's one of us. Buckle up. Cause you're on the drive with t -Kras. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. I think uh, very, 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 very likely Cash, you'll you know, have an update tomorrow, but it's, I think, as he said, he wanted to stay in the game. Cash pulled him out in part because we can't really afford to lose another lefty and based on everything today, would, would expect him in the lineup this weekend. They've been dropping like flies. That's Rays President of Baseball Operations, Eric Neander, on with me in the last hour about Brandon Loud. There appears to be good news there. Got pulled out of the game. Left side tightness. Off day today, traveling to Colorado. Series opener tomorrow at Colorado. Lefty on the mound for the Rockies, but it looks like Brandon Lau escaped serious injury. Knock on wood for the moment. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. It is 4.08 on your ride home. The drive with T-Kraz live inside the Root Air Conditioning Studios. Chris Math is also along for the ride. We've got two pair of tickets to drive night out. A chance for you to join us in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants on Friday night, April the 12th. The first pair we're going to give away at the bottom of the hour during Let It Ride. And then we'll give away the next pair in the next hour during 
the dreaded mailbag segment, you freaking people here. As we'll take you up until 7 o'clock again. You have to be watching the stream. We're on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Like and subscribe at 953-WDAE. I'll hold up a cue card courtesy of our good friend Ronnie Lane with the keyword... And no, the first, no, 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 what? No, no, no. You had to get that jab in there, well, Tom. Because, you know what? It's him. He perfected it. What, you know? could, could the key word be? Nunya. Uh, it could be Nunya. You never know. But you have to be watching at 430 and watching at 530 to get the key word. And then you call up Chris Mathis and re you relay the key word to him. And you get the tickets. You hang out with us for a beautiful Friday night. Rays and the Giants in a suite. Food and drink. No alcohol. And you're on your own with that. But that's a beautiful thing. And maybe one night, one night the ne our next guest will join us in a suite over at the Trop for a Friday night. He's on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at CFBHN.org. The infamous Mark Topkin, Tampa Bay Times, Tampa Bay.com. He's covered this team since day one. Hey, maybe we'll get you up in a suite on April the 12th. What do you think, Mark? to be kidding me people have to do all that stuff and the prizes they get to hang out with you you <laughs> know watch you and and read the card and send it in and, call, and you think they're going to do this i mean you'd be better off saying if you do all this they don't have to hang out with you. <laughs> hey man you'll be surprised because we've done this the last two days how many people matt this called up oh uh, man i mean each time at least 50 six, each time eight, maybe eight Eight? I'm going to go with eight. Over, <laughs> under eight. It's well over. It's well over, my friend. You underestimate the power and the demented soul of this program. I think Mark is a little upset no, I, that or, he wasn't the winner. <laughs> I just I just underestimate what people would do for free stuff, apparently. Yeah, you, well, you got I mean, that next right. Thing you know, you're gonna, next thing you know, you're going to tell me they have to take the card to Canes or something. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Come. No, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. You get a little out of order yourself. But maybe you could make your way up to the suite, you know, that night. You can drop in and say hello, you know. That would be great. Yeah, it sounds like a great way to spend a Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> put, that, put that down for the next. You know what? Let's do it uh, tomorrow. Oh, wait. I'm in Denver. Oh, sorry. You're, I can't make it. You're in Denver next Friday, the 12th, when the Giants are in town. And, you know, you could put yeah. in Blake Snell there. Slap Nick I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to buy a dog, and then I'll have to wash it. <laughs> You're funny. All right, so you heard Eric Deander. It looks like, you know, Mark, Brandon Lau has escaped serious injury with the left side tightness. We know he tweaked his oblique, right? Uh, no one used the word oblique yesterday, <laughs> so just to clarify that. Um, Ian Cash, I, I stuck around, John Romano, I stuck around and talked to Brandon yesterday. He was in the trainer's room for quite a while, but uh, he didn't use the word oblique. He also wanted to make sure it was clear that this did not occur on a swing, did not pop up all the things that someone who has an oblique injury would typically say. So I, I thought that was all duly noted last night that they kind of went out of their way to not use the O word. Um, yeah, I mean, you have better, you have newer information because you talked to Neander. My, my comments from Brandon, obviously were after the game yesterday. So it sounds like from what Neander said on your show that uh, Brandon will be in the lineup and uh, not tomorrow. In fact, Cash had kind of pointed that out yesterday that, you know, they had today off and then facing a lefty, on Friday, and it's the Rockies' home opener, um, so he probably wouldn't. Brandon probably wouldn't have been lined up anyway. Brandon said he'd be available off the bench tomorrow. Now, you know, we'll see, and then whether he is or isn't wasn't necessarily indicative of whether he's going to be good to go on Saturday. That'll be probably the bigger tell when there's a right-hander out there. But it's also going to be cold and wet yes, on Saturday sir. and Sunday. And if a guy does have a muscle pull, tightness, soreness kind of thing, a majiggy, without mentioning oblique. I'm not sure that's the best way. I think it's supposed to be like feels like in the 30s by the end of the game Saturday night and similar like Sunday late afternoon. So we'll see. Uh, that was going to be my next question, Mark. You must have been reading my mind, which is dangerous, by the way. Because I, look, I, I looked at the weather in Denver, and yeah, tomorrow afternoon it's going to be fine. It's going to be in the 70s. Then again, a cold front moves through, and then Saturday, Saturday night, the temperatures will be in the 40s. So that should be interesting. A guy with uh, an oblique injury, even though they don't want to say it's an oblique or some tightness on his side, however you want to call it, that could be a little tricky. But, you know, for a guy in his last year of his contract, the Rays have to be thinking about 
the big picture here, don't they, in terms of, all right, here's a guy in his contract year. He hasn't been able to stay healthy. We've got all these middle infielders. I think Curtis Mead's got a shot to be an everyday player. Once Jonathan Aranda comes back, that could be a righty-lefty platoon at second base. So, realistically, Mark, what's the long-term view on Brandon Lau? Well, I mean, I, I think I understand everything you're saying, but I think at this point, given the other injuries the Rays have, their their focus is going to be literally like this weekend. Like, they need to get him. If he's able to play right now, they need his bat in the lineup immediately. You know, are, are, are you suggesting as you have a number of times this offseason and during spring training they're going to trade him? I, I, I don't know. I mean, when's Josh Logan going to come back? What's their record going to be in July? Those are probably two pretty big answers to your question there. Um, and, you know, if they're going to trade Brandon Lau rather than pick up his option, which they probably won't do at 10 plus million, you know, what are they going to get back if he's having a good year? You know, they, they do keep some guys and let them leave, right? I mean, we've seen Carl Crawford leave. We saw B.J. Upton leave. Uh, Alex Cobb, I think, right? Yeah, so there's some guys that they've kept to the end of their contract. They don't trade everybody, despite the narrative that we, we kind of all perpetuate, but they don't always – uh, deal guys they sometimes let them ride it out and see if they can help them win that year so I don't know that it's for sure they're going to trade Brandon Lau I think picking up the option as it is now probably seems unlikely but he had 39 homers a couple of years ago if he's in the 30 homer range uh, at the end of the season and he stayed healthy for most of the year 10 million dollars is a pretty good deal for next year right it is, but, you know, the Rays, and you know this, obviously, because you've covered them since day one, they don't sell low on guys. So Brandon's going to have to get healthy. He's got to go on one of these streaks, and we've seen him do it, by the way, where he hits four or five home runs in a week. And then you can pro probably see something happen, but he's got to get healthy first and then go on a run. And then the Rays, of course, will assess that situation as is. I also well, asked Eric, right. I'm sorry, are you going to say something? No, I was going to say you're – you're 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 making a very very small hole in a needle to thread here. He's got to do good enough right. so that he has enough value for the Rays to trade him, but not do good enough that they can't trade him because he's so valuable. Like it's it's a really you know, you're you're making for an interesting narrative that will be very fine like like the fine linens in the house that you have your expensive mansion and your ten thousand thread count sheets. You're making for a very fine. Uh, hole in a needle here to get this through. Well, I tell you, that hole is really, really small. I can tell you that. Mark Topkin, Tampa Bay Times, Tampa Bay dot com, is with us here on the drive. <laughs> the Rays are off today. They're in Colorado tomorrow. Are you already in Colorado? Or do you are you going out there tonight? What's your deal? No, I am. Uh, I am sitting here right now in Denver, and it's beautiful out. So it's not like when this interview is over, I'm going to go outside and enjoy the 75 degree no humidity weather or anything. But yeah, let's keep talking. <laughs> you're 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 a clown. <laughs> so some positives, Mark. Uh, Zach Eflin bounced back the other night. He looked good. Aaron Savali two for two. I talked to Zach Littell the other day. You know, I'm sure he was reluctant to call in, but he did call in. Really good guys. So yeah. they appear to have three starters that they could lean on somewhat. And look, uh, 40 games, Mark, until some of these guys can get healthy, just don't be like 15 and 25 through 40 games, right? Yeah, and I actually there's a story for in tomorrow's Tampa Bay Times that will be posted soon on our website, TampaBay.com, along the same lines is kind of what we learned from this first week. And, yeah, this pitching staff is going to be a work in progress. You know, they've got to kind of hold the fort or whatever – cliche you want to use you know when does Taj come back when does Boz come back you know how sure are they on Springs and Rasmussen down the road but you know I don't I don't know how much I mean how if Tyler Alexander has another bad outing this weekend do you stay with him do you flip to Waggis Fox do you look you know do you consider Rosa Rizzi you've only got a couple other options in the minors like literally Jacob Lopez and Erasmo probably is, is what you're looking at so you know the Rays tend not to be overly reactive. Do you let Tyler Alexander run out for a few more starts? So there's there's some things that they'll have to look at. I mean, I think Pepio will have a pretty good runway. I mean, they know or feel pretty good what he can do. They want to give him a chance to get settled in. Uh, and, and he had some innings the other day that looked good and some that didn't. Obviously, the total line wasn't great. But, yeah, that's going to be an ongoing thing. I, I have no – you know, I, I think we're going to – you could see literally an entire – different rotation by the end of the season there's no doubt and once you get these injured guys well, I, should, I shouldn't say that i shouldn't say that i think i think the front two or three guys will stay in there but there's going to be a lot of spinning around with the other spots 
Well, you mentioned a very interesting name, Jake Odorizzi, and you had it at TampaBay.com. He had a start down in Durham. I know the Rays are still kind of looking at him, evaluating him. So your best guess as to what the Rays do with Jake Odorizzi here? Well, what I heard and, and wrote in today's paper was he's going to pitch again for them on Sunday. Uh, then they'll, they'll kind of reevaluate. This is a, a pretty cool thing. Just a quick aside here between Odorizzi and the Rays. This is a, it's almost, they're almost operating like just a handshake agreement, just speaking to the past relationship and trust. And I think rapport that, you know, Odorizzi has literally directly with Eric as well as cash and some of the other people. But, you know, he, he came in, he didn't really want to go to the minors. They kind of said, you know, look, you got to pitch a couple times. He talked them into it or they talked him into it. Threw in the exhibition game. They were supposed to pitch a minor league game. He said, let me pitch in the big leagues. They said, okay. So there's been a lot of back and forth. So after he pitched the other night for Durham, I, I think the conversation was pretty frank. Like, yeah, we, we don't think you're ready. We think you need to throw another game. What do you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I do. When can I pitch? Okay, Sunday. Yeah, let's do it. And then they'll talk again Sunday night or Monday. And, look, at some point he's going to feel he's ready. If the Rays don't agree, I think they'll say, look, best of luck. And, you know, what do you want us to do? You want us to trade you? You want us to release you? You want us to – you know, see if teams want to trade for you. Like, I think they'll, you know, they're willing to help him. Uh, but, you know, obviously their first choice is going to be if they think he can help them, then they'll make a decision and try to find a spot for him. I don't think he wants to pitch in the minor leagues very much, though. So it would have to be a spot at the big league level. And, look, a lot of teams need pitching. I'm sure Jake Edorizzi could skip that Sunday start in Durham and jump into some rotations right now and just be fine and fit right in. Yeah, and I think there would be a lot of teams that would give him – a second look, no doubt. Uh, Taj Bradley, I asked Eric Neander, is that the guy who can come off the injured list the sooner, the soonest? And he said, absolutely. I think we're talking like late April, early May here, Mark. Is that what you're hearing as well for Taj Bradley? They need him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there hasn't been a lot of specific updates on a couple of these guys. I think, you know, Boz, because he had the setback where he picked up the weight, which when I talked to him, he did play long enough to say it was one of Yandy's weights. He just wanted to clarify that. It wasn't like a little two-pound dumbbell or something. It was a Yandy kind of weight. Um, but So it's hard to have any accurate, you know, exact forecast because you don't know exactly where these guys are and what the plan is. But I think that's been kind of the window, late April, early May. You know, Todd didn't have a full spring training. He's a young arm. He's got a great future. They are going to be careful, which means they're going to be cautious, which means if they say it's going to be, you know, two starts in the minors. It might be three or four. Or if, you know, rain gets in the way or a bad outing and they want to reset the pitch count and have them do another one, all those things can happen. So, you know, whatever date it is, realize that probably is a front-end date. But, yeah, I think he'll be the first one back. Boz could have been in that mix. He looks like he's going to be pushed back, I would guess, more like late May, early June maybe now. And then, you know, the plan all along with Springs was sometime around the All-Star break, a little before, a little after, and Rasmus in about a month behind him. All right, he's out in Colorado enjoying himself in the low humidity, temperatures in the 70s. Maybe Mark Topkin of the Tampa Bay Times and TampaBay.com will duck into our suite a week from Friday when the Rays take on the Giants that Friday night. What do you say? I, I think I am going to tell you I will consider that and then let you know. <laughs> <laughs> of actually, I, I actually, I actually, I think coming back from that road trip, I may be off on Friday. So even in all seriousness, while I would be honored that you invited me, if I'm actually off that day, I'm not going to sure I'm going to drive down to the trop just for that guest appearance. But you never know. Well, you, you never know, I mean, which means no. All right, Mark. Uh, you said you're not giving people alcohol. I mean, no. I don't know how you expect them to get through the whole game with you now. Well, because, you know, I'll, I'll buy people drinks. I mean, I can do that at least, you know. Oh, wait. Clip that, Chris. Chris, clip that, please. Oh, I've got it. No worries, he's, Mark. He's got it. Don't worry about it because, you know, as the great, uh, you know, Robert De Niro once said, the house. they're on the house, Mark. All right, Mark, ha ha have a great road trip. We'll uh, talk to you later, man. Be good. See you guys. Bye. All right. It's Mark Topkin. He's out in Denver where tomorrow afternoon the Rays will take on the Rockies. Our guy, Zach Littell, will be on the mound. Our show will be preempted, which means mailbag, which usually goes – on Friday, since we're not on tomorrow, we're doing it today. 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 Tom, you see some of those tweets last night? Oh, I did. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Interesting I, I, stuff. I did. Interesting stuff. You know, the, the haters are out in full force, and I love each and every one of them because they have no idea how cherished they are, how valuable they are, because guess what? Even though they say they hate you, 
you stink, you're a clown, this, that, and the other thing. Oh, I'm never, I don't listen to that guy because he's awful. You're a freaking liar, and you know it. You listen. You absolutely do because you wouldn't know what to do with yourself because you, you got nothing else going on in your life, and that's part of the problem. 888-546-4620, a little bit. On the Bartow 4 DA text platform, text at 82945. All right, up next, the Lightning, after a big win last night, they are on the road tonight. We got some playoff prop bets there. We've got NFL over and unders. Randy Gregory spoke to the media today. What about his sack total for 2024? We're going to put some imaginary money, monopoly money on all this. A little let it ride action coming your way next. Come on, give me a marker. You are tuned in to The Drive with T-Crass. Guys, whether it's an injury accident, product liability, or medical malpractice, you got to call on my guys over at Catania Catania, the personal injury law firm. They've been doing their thing more than 30 years here in the Tampa Bay area. Looking out for you, the injury victim. Protect your rights. If you've been wronged as a result of somebody else's negligence, these are the guys you need to call. $500 million plus in counting, by the way, have been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So they'll get the results. Call them. Tell them I sent you. They'll be with you every step of the way. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office stamp by non attorney spokesman. Turn up the excitement. WDAE's Drive with t Pat and Aaron, and Jay and Zach are now live on YouTube. Watch WDAE, like the video, and subscribe for an immersive sports talk experience like you've never experienced before. WDAE on YouTube. Like and subscribe. WDAE traffic update. The blaze on eastbound I-4 through Plant City crash off to the left-hand side near Alexander. Westbound I-4 slow approaching downtown Tampa and building traffic on northbound 275 from State Road 60 to I-4. Crash being cleared in Pinellas County on northbound 66th Street near 38th Avenue North. We're seeing delays on 49th Street near Park Boulevard and northbound 19 a bit slow now north of Curlew towards Tampa. Tampa Road. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey guys, T. Kraz here from my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader and the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine, guys. So if you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love doing, you got to call my guys over at QC Kinetics. I did. They fixed my elbow. They fixed my knee. They can do the same for you. No surgery, no steroids, no drugs. They are a thing of the past. Regenerative medicine is where it's at, and they can deliver lasting results. They can use your own body's biologics to restore and repair damaged joint tissue, and that's what QC Kinetics will do. So get your life back, guys. Call them. QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you going again with no downtime. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, location in Bradenton, Lakeland, St. Pete, and Brandon. Tell me your boy T-Crass sent you. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, himscom slash J-O-Y. 
After more than four decades in the diamond business, International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire knows a thing or two about diamonds. And a big concern he has right now is the influx of man-made or lab-grown diamonds being sold at retail stores all over. Keith says these diamonds may look like the real thing, but they're being mass-produced and are losing value by the day. Why would you put your money in something that devalues faster than food you eat? Keith says they may look nice, but you can grossly overpay. For example, a man-made two-carat diamond costs next to nothing to produce. A two-carat lab-grown diamond will cost $320 today. But you'll see it in a store showcased with an insane markup. They're selling it for probably $2,000 to $8,000. Two years ago, it was in the $12,000 range, and today, you're talking about a $320 diamond? Come on. Your mama didn't bring you up that way. If you're considering buying a lab-grown or machine-made diamond, get the facts before you write that check. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, CoolToday.com. Partly sunny skies and windy conditions this afternoon. High, 75 degrees. Tonight cools down to 58 degrees under clear skies. Sunny and breezy tomorrow and Saturday. High, 77 degrees. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. Summit Racing is the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right. From custom grills to tonneau covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends April 14th, 2024. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Way more! Broadcasting live from the rude air conditioning studios. We are Tampa Bay's home for sports <laughs> and radio. Fans around the globe over 20 years and counting 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM 620. I'll bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. It's $500. Yes, it is. Are you a dealer or an investment counselor? I will splash the pot whenever the back I please. Good luck, sir. Yeah, give me five times a piece. Uh, St. Louis. The shoulder bolt. Let it ride on 13. Yeah, yeah. Look at this beauty they brought in. Yeah, yeah. How the hell can you grin? You know, yeah, yeah. Give me a little smack. Smack right across the mouth. All right, it is time to play some action on some of these player prop bets, game bets, over unders, all of that. It's on the table. It is Let It Ride, presented by my good friend, Dr. Jim DeRespino, and the great people over at the Center for Men's Health, C4MH.com. And here is your pit boss. No, ah, he's not. Come on, come on man. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate you that. Standing that up that for was me. Estelle Costanza. That was me. Yeah, who would say that? Come uh, on I would never say that about never. you. You're a fine, upstanding young man. Uh, Chris Mathis, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get right into <laughs> it. Your Tampa Bay Lightning are back at it again tonight following a big win over Toronto last night, John Cooper. The Bolts, one and a half goal favorites on the road against the Canadians, and the over-under sits at six and a half goals tonight, Tom. Oh, six and a half. I think it'll be under that. I think the Lightning will have some heavy legs. It's an emotional victory. Matt Tompkins is in goal. Some guy that just pulled out of the stands. Oh, goal and a half favor. You know what? I think the Lightning are playing well. I'm going to take the goal. I'll, I'm going to give you the goal in the half. I'm going to take the lightning in this game. Why the hell not? Nikita Kucherov is on a mission. All right. 130 points. He had three more last night. He's in that quest to win the Hart Trophy regular season MVP. I think he stays hot along with Braden Point. I like the lightning tonight against Martin. Martin said, oui, 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 oui. Uh -huh, les incompetents. I love it, Tom. Hey, real quick, yeah, uh, most assists in a single season from a winger, Nikita Kucherov, with 88 this year. Unbelievable. Unreal. He, he's having an unbelievable year. Now, first goal scorer tonight for your Lightning. Speaking of Kucherov and the best chances, best odds for this to happen, Braden Point plus 650, mm -hmm. Nikita Kucherov plus 700, and the captain, Steven Stamkos, plus 850 tonight against Montreal. I'm going off the board. I'm going Brandon Hagel, who assisted on two goals last night. I think Brandon Hagel is the first goal scorer tonight for your Tampa Bay Lightning. 
He will score his 24th goal of the season tonight. He'll get them off to a good start. Now, we do talk about Kucherov, of course, his ability to pepper the goaltender over Go under three Kucherov. and a half shots. Three and a half <laughs> shots tonight. And these are real bets here, Tom. Three and a half shots on goal for Kuch. Three and a half. Now, yep. he took two last night. Does he become more aggressive tonight in terms of not being the facilitator or being the sniper instead? We've seen him do that. I think three and a half is a large number for a back-to-back game on the road. I'm going to go under three and a half shots for over, tonight. Over under four and a half wins for the Bolts over their last seven games of the regular season. Ooh, that's a good one. So you're basically betting on the fact that the Lightning are going to win at least five of their last seven. If I'm looking at their schedule, they've got seven games left. At Montreal and then at Pittsburgh and then home for Columbus, home for Ottawa, at Washington, home for Buffalo, home to... You know what? Four of seven will be at home. It's not an overly difficult schedule as far as I'm concerned. I think the Lightning win five of seven, so I'm going over. All right. I like it. Hopefully you're right, Tom. I know that if you are, nobody will give you credit except for me. If you're not, everyone's going to diss on you. Talking a little baseball now in your team. True story, by the way. Yeah, true. Man. Very true. No doubt about it. 2024 AL Manager of the Year odds, which include your Tampa Bay Rays manager, Kevin Cash, uh, being inside the top five for the best odds to win. Detroit's AJ Hint, Hinch at plus 375. Boston's Alex Cora at plus 750. Cleveland's Steven Vogt at plus 850. New York Yankees manager Aaron Boone plus 900. And our very own Kevin Cash sits at plus 1,000 to win AL Manager of the Year. You know, I find it funny. You know, we're seven games into the season, and and Aaron Boone is among the leaders to win American League Manager of the Year. Guess who was the first guy to be fired before the season? The odds were Aaron Boone of the Yankees. So you're telling me seven games into the season already he's a Manager of the Year candidate. I'm not going to buy it. If I were going to place money on one of those guys, I think it might be A.J. Hinch because the Tigers are a young team. I think they're slowly going to ascend. I don't think they win that division. I think Minnesota is still the best team in that division. But if I was going to bet on one of those guys that you mentioned on that list, it would be A.J. Hinch. Now, speaking of Kevin Cash and your Rays, the Rays' chances of making the playoffs as of right here today. No, the favorite, minus 180. Yes, plus 150. Even though you mother everything we do. Uh, not everything, Kevin Cash. Look, I would still bet on the Rays to make the playoffs. I still think they're an 88-win team. They'll get some guys healthy. Just keep, just stay afloat for the first 35 to 40 games, and then help is on the way, and then they can go on a run. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to vote yes for the Rays to make the playoffs. I'll put my money there. Yeah! NFL over under wins totals here in 2024. Yeah, Todd Bowles, you guys are doubted once again. I'll get into that here in just a second with your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Atlanta Falcons over under 10 wins. Tom Krasnicki. Listen, I, I'm going to go under. Um, I think 9 and 8 is right about right. And look, Raheem Morris has done a good job based on the first team meeting. You're going to hear those comments, by the way. We're going to play those for you. We've got them, okay? We got sidetracked yesterday because of the Rays, and the Rays game, you know, ended late, so we came on late, yada, yada, yada. We had Florio on. But, look, Kirk Cousins, I think, is a good quarterback. Uh, I don't think he's a top seven or eight quarterback, though. I think he'll make a difference. They what? what? They were 7-10 and 10 last year. Mm -hmm. I think they could make a two-game improvement to 9-8, and eight, but... That still leaves them under 10 wins. What about Dave Canales and the Carolina Panthers over under four and a half wins for them? Uh, they were 2-15 and 15 a year ago, and look, they made some improvements. They spent $153 million on two guards, and that's what you have to do if you're Carolina. If you're a pitiful team like they are, you have to overpay in order to get guys to come in and play for you. So I think they're better than two wins. Can they jump to five? If you think they can jump to five, then you're going over. Um, I don't know if they can get to five. You don't have a first round pick. I'm gonna say under. I think they can go I think they can double their win total. They're gonna go from two to four. But that I think that's it. I think four and thirteen is 
pretty good for them. What about the Saints and uh, Derek Carr near two in New Orleans over under seven and a half wins for them? I'm going under. You know, Dennis Allen, he's still there. Yeah, I'm going under. The Derek Carr, you know, salary cap hell. They they need some offensive line help. Uh, Alvin Kamara, I'm not sure if his days are numbered. I think they are in New Orleans. Uh, they've lost some guys, too, in free agency. I'm going under. I think they're a six or seven win team, seven and ten. You're just trying to stir shit up. What? I'm not talking about you yet, Baker. I was talking about the Saints. Hey, yeah, but now you're giving the Saints some bulletin board material. So? Speaking of, Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers over under eight wins for them here in 2024. Ooh, they got a tough schedule. We all know that. And... I think Jason Light is going to make the best of it with the upcoming draft. He's got two third-round picks. I think he's going to add to the depth along the offensive line. I think he's going to add another edge rusher, even though Randy Gregory is here. You're going to hear his comments coming up in a matter of moments. I think the Bucks can get over eight wins. I think they can be nine and eight once again. So I'm going to go over, slightly over. All right, pushed up here against time as we do have to uh, obviously grant one of you guys with a pair of tickets here momentarily. That's over right. under three and a half sacks for Randy Gregory here in Tampa Bay in 2024. Really good question. And I think you could get over because what are you going to do? If you're Todd Bowles, you understand football, you want your four best pass rushers on the field. And I think Randy Gregory right now is one of their four best. It's Gregory and yeah, 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 Diaby on the outside, and Kalaja Kansi and Vita Vea rushing inside. Those are your four best pass rushers right now, in my opinion. So if you're going to put him out there on third downs, I think he's going to go over. I think there's some juice left in the tank for Randy Gregory. He, he played a full season last year for the first time. I think he understands what it takes now to take care of his mind as well as his body. I think he could be like a five or six sack guy. So I'm going over. A lot of talk regarding Chris Godwin here in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this offseason. Over under half a season left Ooh. of Chris Godwin as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, meaning they'll trade him here ahead of the draft or midway through the season. What are you thinking here, Tom? I don't think they'll trade him. I would be surprised because right now his cap hit is $27.5 million. And he's not Stephon Diggs. He's not a bad seed to where, oh, my God, uh, let's just get rid of this guy. I don't care what the cap charge is. He's not Russell Wilson. He's not Stephon Diggs. He's he's Chris Godwin. I think he can still be a productive player. If you line him up in the slot, that's where he's best at. I think the Bucs will work out that contract. It'll end up being maybe a short extension or something of two to three years. I think I'm going to go over. I think Godwin is here this year. Over under the Bucks' first draft pick in round one being pick 25 and a half, meaning they either trade up or they stay put or trade back here, aside from pick 26. Um, I think they could trade up. I think they could. If one of these guys slips into the early 20s, one of these edge rushers or the interior offensive linemen, I think it's still all on the table for Jason Line and company. They have an extra third round pick. So I'm going to say under which means I think they'll trade up okay. for a few spots. All right, cool. There we go, guys. Oh, one more, Tom. What? Over under 49 and a half callers for this pair of race tickets. Uh, it's going to be over once you see the cue card that I'm holding up right now for the Drive Night Out ticket. So if you're watching on the stream, you've got the cue card, and there it is. There's the keyword. So if you call in right now at 888-546-4620, you relay this keyword to our guy, Chris Mathis, first correct caller gets the tickets to drive night out. So good luck to everyone out there who's calling in, and we'll see you at the Trop a week from Friday, April the 12th. As we get a winner for those drive night out tickets, don't forget, if you don't win this time around, you'll have one final chance coming up in the 5 o'clock hour during the mailbag. We'll take you up until 7 o'clock. If you're just joining us, it's The Drive with yours truly, T. Kraz, Tom Kraz, Nikki. In case you missed it, Eric Neander joined us in the last hour. He had some interesting updates on Junior Caminero. He also talked about Taj Bradley and, of course, Brandon Lau. We're going to rerun that interview coming up at 6 o'clock. But on the way back here on your Thursday ride home, 
The Buccaneers have added a pass rusher and Randy Gregory. He met with the media today. What did he have to say? And will this alter the Buccaneers draft strategy? The Drive with T-Kraz. More Bucks in NFL coming up next. You're on The Drive with T-Kraz. Guys, as a homeowner, I certainly know the importance of having a strong roof over your head. And look, if you're looking for a roofing or a solar option, Green Tech Roofing and Solar is the number one roofing solution in Tampa Bay. They're offering free inspections, guys. They offer a wide selection of shingles, tile, asphalt, metal roofing options. John Franco owns the business. He's passionate about it. He does residential and commercial. And look, customer service and satisfaction is really important to John. They have over 300 five-star reviews. Green Tech lays out all of your options when you give them a call. They'll walk you through every step of the process. And all you really have to worry about is picking your favorite roof color. So get with them. They also have different financing options available, making your project more affordable. Visit them. GreenTechRoofing.com. Get an accurate estimate. That's Green Tech, T-E-K, Roofing. Roofing.com. Green Tech Roofing and Solar. This is Smart Roofing. Make sure to tell them that T-Crash sent you. Tomorrow, Tampa Bay Rays Baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner. Home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Colorado Rockies. Coverage starts at 3. On the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. WDAE traffic update. Two left lanes are blocked on southbound 75 just before Gibsonton Drive and traffic slow from just south of the Selman. Also a crash on westbound Fowler Avenue near Bruce B. Downs, Dale Mabry near Kennedy and westbound MLK just before Himes Avenue. Heavy traffic on northbound 275 from the Howard Franklin Bridge through downtown Tampa. Southbound 275 slow from Roosevelt to pass 54th Avenue North. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4 6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. Hey there, Tampa Bay. It's Steve and Elizabeth Holland at the Holland Group. We want to talk to you about the importance of tax planning, or as we like to call it, the art of legally keeping your money away from Uncle Sam. With 30 years of experience, we realize there are tax strategies you may not know about. If done properly, we can save you real money. So call the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors serving Tampa Bay since 1993. 727-228-6449. Since 1985, Bates Electric has served as Tampa's premier electrical contractor. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we bring a commitment to excellence in both commercial and residential projects. Our 24-7 Gold Service is Tampa's most recommended, and our dedicated electricians prioritize quality workmanship and unparalleled client communication, ensuring your project is on time and completed to perfection. See why clients rave about Bates Electric. Power on, power on, power on, Bates Electric. Power on. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hey guys, Jay Retro here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Amelie Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge lounge is the place for you. You got to try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls, fan favorites, and they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa? My answer, always Top Shelf Sports Lounge. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. 
I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Your home sold in 14 days. Guaranteed at DuncanDuo.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alt 2K. Don't want to be an American idiot. A commercial-free look back to alternative from the 2000s. With Foo Fighters, Weezer, Linkin Park, Green Day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alt 2K, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free never sounded so good. iHeartRadio. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Partly sunny skies and windy conditions this afternoon. High 75 degrees. Tonight cools down to 58 degrees under clear skies. Sunny and breezy tomorrow and Saturday. High 77 degrees. Take WDAE with you anywhere you want with a free iHeartRadio app and using your Alexa. Now, back to The Drive with t Kras on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Well, I mean, at this point in my career, you know, I, I don't I don't go in expecting or, you know, anything like that. I wouldn't say that um, I expect to help and um, I expect to influence the team how I know I can and, and make plays in the way I know I can. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it, it's, it's really what you make it. That is Randy Gregory, the newest member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He met with the media. Earlier this afternoon, a couple of hours ago, Buccaneers signed them to a one-year deal. It happened during our show yesterday, so they add to that edge rusher room, which includes yeah, 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 Diaby, who led the Buccaneers in sacks. He led the Bucs in sacks as a rookie. Joe Tryon Shoenka, the first-round pick. You know, this is probably going to be a shot across the bow of his direction. Anthony Nelson, too. Shaq Barrett is gone, as you know. Welcome back. It's The Drive with T. Kraz. Your ride home on a Thursday. It's 4.51. So I thought this was an interesting signing. And, you know, if you've been listening to the show, I basically guaranteed that the Buccaneers would add a veteran guy before the draft. And here he is. You know, Jadavion Clowney would have been great, but he went to Carolina. He went home, so to speak. Played at South Carolina. Got two years and $20 million. The Buccaneers got... Randy Gregory for one year, three million for a base, and according to reports, incentives can push it up to five million. I think that's a heck of a gamble. That's a great job by Jason Light. Outstanding. Now Clowney obviously had the better year. Maybe he's the better player. But Randy Gregory has been in this league now what? Nine years? Twenty fifteen second round pick of Dallas. And last year for the first time, and we talked to Mike Florio, and and this news broke as Florio was on our show yesterday. But he was with Dallas and then spent, you know, a year and a half in Denver, and then Denver traded him to San Francisco last year. He had two and a half sacks with San Fran. He had one with Denver. So three and a half sacks total last season. Eight quarterback hits. Played in the Super Bowl. But... You're talking about a guy who situationally can still get after the passer a little bit. Now, is he going to get you 8 to 10 sacks? No, absolutely not. Is he going to play 50 snaps a game? Probably not. What you can do is still put pressure on the quarterback, and if you give him 25 snaps a game, 30 might be pushing it, certainly in pass rushing situations then I think he still has a little bit of juice left in the tank because you're not asking him to play 50. You're asking him to play 25, especially in surefire passing situations. And look, and Todd Bowles knows this, the goal of any defensive head coach is asking yourself this question. How can I get my four best pass rushers on the field? And right now, with the addition of Gregory, the four best pass rushers that the Bucks have are 
Yaya Diaby and Randy Gregory on the outside. Kalaja Kansi and Vita Vea right in the middle. Those are your four best. Now, could that change? Yes, because the draft is coming up in three weeks. Three weeks from today, in fact, can hardly wait. Maybe the Buccaneers add another guy to that room. And the Randy Gregory signing will not prevent the Buccaneers from drafting an edge rusher. I still think edge rusher is still on the table. I think interior offensive line is more of a heightened need now, even though they did sign a couple of guys, the Brendanson guy from the Giants, you know. He could play a couple of different positions, but listen, I need a thumper. Get me a mauler. Get me a dog. Get me Jackson Powers Johnson. Get me Graham Barton. If one of those guys is there at 26, I think you got to take him if you're the Bucks. Gregory maybe is a guy who helps fill the hole for at least a year. A hold the fork guys. Bill Parcells used to call it back in the day. He's not your permanent solution to a problem. He's a temporary fix until you can find a permanent guy. And that's what Randy Gregory is. And that's okay. The Bucks are paying him that way. One year, $3 million? Hell yeah. Well worth, the, well worth the risk there. And it's a low risk, high reward. Because you bring that guy in, and if he affects one or two games with a sack fumble, a strip sack, or something along those lines where he pressures Kirk Cousins in a Bucks falcons game and Cousins throws it to Antoine Winfield Jr. to cinch the game, he's worth it. A hundred percent. He's worth three times that amount. So I like this move by the Bucks. You add to that room, you kick JTS in the butt a little bit, and now he's going to feel a set, a heightened sense of urgency to deliver this year or else, or else he's out. So Randy Gregory is a shot across the bow or across the nose, however you want to put it, of Joe Tryon Shoenka that, you know what? It's now or never for JTS. And in terms of the draft, this gives the Bucks a lot of flexibility. You can stay at 26. You can move up. You can move down. You've got an extra third-round pick if you want to move up. So they have all the options available to them. And again, the good teams in this league, let the draft come to them. The Bucks have filled all their holes. If you had a lineup and go play tomorrow, as Jason Light told me last week, you could do it now. Randy Gregory's here. You got an edge rusher. You can do it. Now the Buccaneers will add to this team in three weeks. Now, again, first 25 picks, you want to make sure you get as many quarterbacks, as many receivers. You're not going to see any running backs go, unfortunately. Tight ends. Brock Bowers. You know he's going to go the first 25 picks. That's good. That's a good thing for the Bucs. So quarterbacks, receivers, there should be quite a few of them. Bowers, the tight end. And then that's going to really fill it up the first 25 picks or so. It's going to push some of those edge players down. Um, I saw one mock draft with Jared Verse out of Florida State. That would be unbelievable if that happened. Unbelievable. I don't think he's going to be there at 26. But Leitu Latu of UCLA? Definitely. He's the rush the card up there guy. If he's there, you're rushing the card up there for him. What if Latu is there along with Jackson Powers Johnson? That would be a great problem to have. Would you rather, man, in a couple of weeks right before the draft? If you got a couple of those options on the table, Chris Mathis, you know? That's what I'm yeah. talking about right there. I'm going interior Oof. offensive lineman right now. Uh, I think I would probably go in that direction, too. And then you get an edge guy in round two. I want to see the run game get better this year. That's something that will really help this offense, <laughs> you know, take a next step. Yeah, the run game has been dreadful. Last in the NFL in each of the last two years, which, yeah, means that right now interior O-line is maybe the number one priority. <sighs> 888-546-4620. That's the phone number. By the way, congratulations. Daniel in Clearwater, he got a pair of tickets. He's going to join us in a suite for that Rays-Giants game next Friday. Now, you've got one more chance to win, and that's coming up in the 5 o'clock hour during Mailbag. 
We'll have plenty of your calls and texts. Also coming up, the latest update on Brandon Lau. Maybe, just maybe, that injury is not as severe as we once thought. We have late-breaking developments on that and a whole lot more coming up. It's The Drive with T-Kraz on your ride home on a Thursday. You're locked in to The Drive with T-Kraz. Hey, guys, right down the road from us resides Steve and Julie Weintraub over at the Gold and Diamond Source. And when it comes to the April Birthstone jewelry, diamonds take center stage. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? At least that's what they say. Symbolizing love, strength, eternity, diamonds are a classic choice. First-time diamond buyer, and with the Golden Diamond Source First-Time Diamond Buyer Program, they will educate you on what to look for when picking out that special diamond for that special someone. Remember, your Golden Diamond Source diamond never loses its value. You can always trade up for their Golden Diamond Source diamond for a bigger and better one. And while you're there, you can spring clean your jewelry collection and find out how much your gold and diamonds are worth today. Today, And for the Golden Diamond Source's 40-year anniversary, they're celebrating by offering up to 40% off select jewelry items. The Golden Diamond Source has been your trusted jewelry destination for four years. I trust them, as should you. Make sure it's a Golden Diamond Source diamond at 3800 over to Road to Clearwater. Always online at goldendiamond.com. Tell them Ronnie and T-Crest sent you. Oh, the day-to-day grind, the meetings, the pressures, the constant stop and start on the bridge. Ever just catch yourself saying, I gotta get away? Well, here's your chance, big guy. It's Goon's Getaway at Tropicana Field. Tune in all week to the Pat and Aaron Show for your shot at winning tickets to the Rays and Angels. And escape the noise of the day-to-day with the Goon Squad. Presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and the Goons on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best, just suitable. Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey, guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way 
literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on the driver who treats the highway like a racetrack and the shoulder like a passing lane. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California. Subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates in Northbrook, Illinois. Hey, it's Sean Kelly, voice of the Gators for my friends at International Diamond Center. IDC is Florida's family-owned jeweler with worldwide connections. IDC delivers exceptional value, mind-blowing selection, uncompromising quality, ironclad warranties. IDC has showrooms all over Gator Country, Gainesville, Orlando, Tampa, Clearwater, Sarasota, Naples, and on the Treasure Coast. The vibe at IDC is relaxed and fun. Their non-commissioned experts will guide you every step of the way, and nobody can touch their incredible value prices. Of course, IDC's specialty is diamonds. Real, rare, precious GIA-certified diamonds in every shape and size imaginable. It's a massive selection at no middleman, direct importer prices. So when it comes to those special moments in your life, celebrate with the only jeweler endorsed by the Gators, International Diamond Center, where Gator Nation shops for jewelry. Get store locations, hours, and learn more. ShopIDC.com. With Progressive Insurance, we make it easy to save money. When you bundle your auto policy with home, condo, or renters, you will earn a multi-policy discount. Easy to bundle, easy to save. Visit Progressive.com. An iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app, where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa Tampa Bay Bay Sports Talk Talk for over 20 20 years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pendellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WPTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. It's Thursday from Citrus Park to Bayonet Point and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with t Crass. Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. I think uh, very, 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 very likely Cash, you'll you know, have an update tomorrow. But it's, I think, as he said, he wanted to stay in the game. Cash pulled him out in part because we can't really afford to lose another lefty. And um, <laughs> based on everything today, would would expect him in the lineup this weekend. Race president of baseball operations, Eric Neander, delivering some good injury news for a change for the Rays. He was on with me earlier today. We're going to rerun that interview coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. He's talking about Brandon Lau. He woke up feeling pretty good today. The Rays are in Colorado. Off day today, they'll begin their first road trip tomorrow afternoon. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. Hour number three. It is the drive with T. Kraz on your ride home. Executive producer Chris Mathis also along for the ride. It is 5.08. Hope you had a great day at work. 
So sit back and relax, and we'll keep you informed and entertained all the way up until 7 o'clock. By the way, because we're off tomorrow, we've got the mailbag today. So an extra added bonus for you clowns out there, you freaking people, you trolls, you haters, and you know who you are. You made yourself present on social media. How can you live with yourself? He's a bum. You are a bum. How do you sleep at night? You're just online. Oh, I hate that guy. He's terrible. Guess what? You're one of my favorite listeners because you are a P1 because you're listening all the time. And I love the P1s that love the show. You guys are awesome. You're on the text platform. You're making jokes and whatever. And I want to reward good people. The trolls, man, you're out there. You're doing your thing. But what you don't know, and this is how dumb you are, is you're making this show even more popular because of who you are. And we appreciate you because of that. It is 509 on your ride home. So the Rays are off today. Brandon Lau, hey, that's good, right? By the way, they will not call it an oblique because the Rays, apparently, they lead the league in oblique injuries. <laughs> you know, Shane Boz, Josh Lowe, this guy, that guy. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that at all. Oh, uh, well, I don't blame you, Shane Boz, because you had a setback, apparently, and now you won't be back until, I don't know, June. Now, we did learn a few things in my discussion with Eric Neander, and again, it's coming up at 6 o'clock. He talks about Junior Caminero. I asked him about him. Brandon Lau, he dives deep and goes extensively into his injury, left side tightness. Taj Bradley is also an interesting cat. Everyone knows that the Rays have all of these injuries, and maybe the soonest one of these guys gets back is Taj Bradley, and Eric Neander gave a guesstimate on that, hopefully within a month. And with pitchers, it just stinks because that's the process. You can't do anything about it. Because once they stop throwing, as Taj did because of his pectoral injury, then you have to stop. Then you have to start him up and ramp him up again. And then he's got to go to the minors and pitch one, two, three games, however games, however many it takes for him to get back. So... Yeah, I'm thinking like early May for Taj Bradley. But he would be the soonest guy that comes back. Because Shane Boz, you heard from him there. He doesn't want to get into it sometime in June. And then maybe late June, early July, Jeffrey Springs, right around the All-Star break. Mark Topkin told us that in the last hour when he joined us from bright and sunny Denver, Colorado. And then after the All-Star break, Drew Rasmussen. So if you're the Rays, that's all you got to do is just kind of keep this ship together. Don't let it sink. Just keep it together for 35 to 40 games. You know, 22 and 18 would be great until the cavalry comes over that hill. Just don't be like 15 and 25. That's what you don't want. So that's the story with the Rays. Off day today, they're in Colorado. Look. In the next two weeks, you're facing the Rockies and the Angels ten times. You got to win at least six of those games. If you're six and four, I mean, that's a great thing. I mean, look at where the Rays are at right now. They're three and four. So you're nine and eight, and then you got a couple of other games mixed in there. You got the Giants coming to town next weekend. When they come back from this road trip, they go to Colorado, and then they go to Anaheim to take on the Angels. And then the Giants next weekend, of course, drive night out. That Friday night game next Friday, April the 12th, Rays and Giants. We've got one final pair of tickets to drive night out. you got to be watching the stream. We're streaming the show on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch at 953-WDAE. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You have to be watching, though, mailbag coming up at 530 because I will hold up a cue card. With the keyword and the first person to call in with that keyword like Daniel from Clearwater did in the last hour, you will join us in a suite. How about that? Food and drink, a great time on a Friday night. So one final opportunity coming up at 530 as we'll take you up until 7 o'clock. I saw a couple of numbers today in regards to our raise, and look, it's seven games, okay? You know, 
Jose Caballero, um, he's here. He's hitting over 300. By the way, he's reached base safely in all six games so far, in the six games that he's played. He's got three stolen bases. I know he had a couple of uh, not-so-good moments yesterday in the field, but the guy's played in six games. So, you know, he is the plan B at shortstop. Don't you know who plan A is? He's down in the Dominican, hiding. Wanda Franco. Most of the time he's hiding. I mean, I know he put out a couple of social media videos there, Chris Mathis. Yeah, he does. He, he'll do it on occasion. Every, like, three or four days, Why? he posts a video of him working out or fielding ground balls or in the cage. It's, it's weird, man. I, I know he's trying to prove that he's still out there working, but at the end of the day, I, I don't think he's playing this year. I don't think so either, and you know. And why is he not focused on other things? It's just, it's just bad look. It's, well, it's, I, it's a bad image. He's immature, and the thing with him is, I think he's just trying to show the Rays and everybody else, hey, I'm still here, I'm working out. So, if if and when I do get cleared of these charges, and they have until June, and June we're going to know something. I think the Rays certainly know a hell of a lot more, and they're not going to comment on anything. Of that matter, but you know he was supposed to be your shortstop one, and when they knew in the off season, you know what, this guy's probably not going to be made available. We had to go out and get somebody, and they got Caballero. They signed Ahmed Rosario, who has played most of his professional career at shortstop. And look, if Caballero for some reason you know doesn't work out or whatever, look, Rosario can play short, he can play second, he can play some right field. I think he's been okay. I wish he could have uh, came back and did something in that eighth inning yesterday. So, just unfortunate. But, um, look, we're seven games into it. You know, a, a better sample size is like, again, 40 games where you're almost a quarter of the way through the season. Like in the NFL, that's four games into a 16 or 17 game season now. Now it's 17. I'm telling you, it's going to go to 18. And, oh yeah, Todd Bowles, you better be ready because that's going to happen at some point. 18 games, no doubt about it. So that's a story with the Rays. They're in Colorado tomorrow. I saw an interesting write-up at ESPN.com. They were talking about teams, the win-now teams, the teams that could win now, like the win now teams were Dodgers, Braves. They were in the win now category, obviously. Otani hit his first home run last night. I think you guys saw that. The Rays were in the teams that could win now category. And here was the write up that they had on the Rays. Uh, the Rays have won 95 of every 162 games they've played since the beginning of the 2018 season. A six year run of success exceeded by only three other teams. Dodgers, Astros, Braves. That's pretty elite company. Uh, the highest ranked payroll they had during that span was 25th. Well, now they have the 24th ranked payroll, which according to Mark Topkin is in excess of $96 million. So in order for the Rays to get back into the playoffs and look, I still think they're an 88-win team. I still think they're a wild-card team. Are they better than Baltimore? No, they're not. And I think Toronto is a little bit better than what the Rays are right now. I think Toronto's going to win 90. I think Baltimore is around 94, 95. I think Baltimore wins this division. I think Toronto's in as a wild-card. And I think the Rays are in as a wild-card. And yes, I know. I know what you're thinking out there. Yankee fans are like, hey, what about us? The New York Yankees? The New York Yankees! Six and one. The Yankees are off to a flying start. And everyone is wondering, hey, how come you don't have the Yankees in there? Well, to that, I will ask you this. When is your ace, Garrett Cole, coming back? Two months? Three months? Now, the Yankees are off to a good start. Juan Soto has certainly been the fuel for that engine. He's made a big impact so far. Can he keep it going? Probably. 
Can Aaron Judge stay healthy for 160 games? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. But more importantly, you take an ace off anyone's team for two to three months over the long haul. How will that work out for the team? It's good that the Yankees are off to a good start. Good for them. Without Garrett Cole, you know, hopefully you get him back at some point, June, July, whatever it is, with that inflamed elbow, whatever it is. And the other guys in that rotation hopefully do their part for the Yankees' sake. Nesta Cortez and Marcus Stroman and Carlos Radon, they paid a lot of money for him. It's about time he starts pulling his weight. Those guys, those three guys right there need to keep it going. And if you have three guys in your starting rotation that you can rely on, yeah, chances are you're going to win more games than not. And I think, getting back to our raise now, I think they have three guys they can rely on. Eflin the other day looked good against a really good offensive team. He looked good for five innings in the opener against Toronto, and then obviously the roof caved in. But I think for the most part, I think Zach Eflin's a good pitcher. Aaron Savali, two for two, two very good starts. Zach Littell, our guy, no earned runs in his first start. He'll be on the mound tomorrow afternoon. Let's see how well he does. I think he gets it. So I think the Rays have three starters that they could lean on. Hopefully Taj Bradley's back within a month. And then their bullpen, I think, is pretty good. Look, seven games, there's no reason to panic. They're three and four, for crying out loud. It's not like they're 0-7. Let's just relax on the Rays just a little bit. Just a little bit. Give our guy Kevin Cash, you know, Let's cut him some slack. Even though you mother everything we do. Not everything, Kevin. I still think the world of you. I still think the world of, you know, Eric Neander. Nanya. Uh, he could have said Nanya to a lot of questions that I asked him, but he didn't. And you're going to hear Eric Neander coming up at 6 o'clock. He didn't say Nanya. Did he say Nanya at all? No, he, I mean, he had a lot of great content and actually answered every question that he threw at him, even the challenging questions, Tom. Yeah. You know, Brandon Lau, yeah. come on, man. Brandon Lau, can he stay healthy? They're refusing to call it an oblique injury, which I find hilarious. That's because the Rays have been cursed by oblique injuries. Cursed, going back to last year. Wouldn't you just, I hate to say this, but wouldn't you just own up to it? Like, yeah, you know what, it wasn't oblique because... Well, because if it's an oblique injury, then you're probably admitting that, you know, he's going on the IL, so... Thankfully, according to Eric, Brandon Lau woke up this morning feeling pretty good, not dangerous, like uh, our guy there. Uh, what's his face? Uh, I woke up feeling dangerous. That's uh, Baker Mayfield. I guess Brandon Lau woke up feeling safe and sound. Not necessarily, um, yes, not necessarily dangerous. So that's good. He's not going to play tomorrow. Lefties on the mound for Colorado. But again, as Topper mentioned, and I was going to ask him now when he mentioned it. Saturday night in Colorado, temperatures will be in the 40s for that game between the Rays and the Rockies. Tomorrow afternoon, beautiful weather. Temperatures in the low 70s. Our guy, Zach Littell, will be on the mound. And then Saturday night, oof, oof, 40s. And you know, as any Floridian, when you go out of Tampa Bay and go visit somewhere else, and if it's in the 50s, you would think it was in the 20s. Is that a problem? Uh, yes, it is. If you're a Floridian and you go somewhere else and it will feel a lot colder to you than it actually is. It's a true story. 888-546-4620. You could talk about that. You could text in your thoughts. A lot of wise-ass comments. Look at this guy to the 813. The Rays lose 90 games. Come on. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on now. They're not that bad. They're not. I think they're still a good team. The Rays lose 90 games. Come on, man. Get that negativity out of here. All the negativity that's in this town sucks. You know that? All right, coming up, speaking of sucking, you freaking people. I don't know what to do with half of you, honestly. I go online. I see these social media comments. Uh, I'm going to give it back to you. I'm going to call you out. And you better be watching on the stream because... This will be your final opportunity to win drive night out tickets. I will hold up the cue card with the keyword. And if you call it into Chris Mathis, 
You're going to join us. So we're going to have some fun with you. Your hateful comments all week long. The mailbag is next here on The Drive. You're on The Drive with t Crash. Guys, the future of medicine is here. I have seen it. I have experienced it. It is my guys over at QC Kinetics, Dr. Daniel Zuckerman, and his team of professionals. They're awesome. I had bad elbow pain a couple of years ago. They fixed it with a couple of treatments. I had some knee soreness last year into this year. Guess what? They fixed that too. How? Regenerative medicine, guys. Steroids surgery, drugs, they are no longer your best options. It's regenerative medicine over at QC Kinetics, transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. I'm talking natural biologics, using your own body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. So if you have that aching knee, shoulder, back, arthritic injury, you're looking to put off surgery, the weather's beautiful outside, get out and enjoy it. Go to QC Kinetics. It's a life-changing type of experience. You can get a free consultation right now. They are a game changer and experience this revolutionary approach that I have experienced. So call them now. Get the free consultation, QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, locations in Brandon, Bradenton, St. Pete, and Lakeland. Tell me, boy, Tom Krasnick, he sent you. Mailbag is next. The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Go! Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday Rays game. Right here on the radio home of every Rays game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The home of the Rays. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE. Traffic update. Seeing delays on northbound veterans near that exit for Dale Mabry, northbound 275 from the hump on the Howard Franklin Bridge through downtown Tampa. And we're seeing delays westbound Gandy Boulevard from the bridge over to the traffic light near Derby Lane. Heavy traffic on northbound US 19 approaching Curlew. Crash being cleared on westbound MLK near Himes. And delays on southbound 75 south of Brandon approaching Gibsonton Drive. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell is introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with the new Cantina Chicken Burrito, Quesadilla, Bowl, and Tacos featuring their new slow-roasted chicken. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu today at a participating U.S. Taco Bell location while supplies last. Contact store for participation, which varies. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I interviewed integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now. Now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, Bradenton, and Tampa. 813-305-3000. Think you have to travel to New York or Los Angeles to get a deal on a five-carat colorless diamond in a -a one-of-a-kind designer setting? What if I told you people from those cities came here for these exquisite pieces of jewelry? Here to International Diamond Center. Welcome to the the IDC Prestige Collection, a truly breathtaking array of large, rare diamonds, two carats and up, handpicked for maximum brilliance and certified by the GIA. In addition, International Diamond Center is one of only 14 dealers in the world offering De Beers Forever Mark exceptional diamonds, featuring magnificent diamonds, five carats and up, including the rarest and most exquisite diamonds on the planet. The IDC Prestige Collection and the Forever Mark Exceptional Diamond Collection are for the discriminating shopper with
with refined taste and uncompromising standards. No need to travel or have it flown in from a broker. It's all here, every day. One of America's most impressive displays of large, rare diamonds, along with the most sought-after designer rings in the world. International Diamond Center, your direct diamond importer. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here with Jeff Jr., owner of Trajan Wealth, talking about 401ks, and I've always heard that 401ks were great, but you're telling me something different here, Jeff. Well, 401ks are great when you're employed there. However, if you're no longer employed, you probably don't want to keep that 401k with your old employer, and you probably don't want to roll that old 401k into your new employer's plan. Really? Now, now why is that? Well, most 401ks have limited investment options and can cost you thousands of dollars more in fees. And that's true even if you roll it over into your new employer's 401k. You also lose a lot of control by leaving your 401k with your old employer. If the company sells or merges, they often freeze it. That is great insight, Jeff. And if you have a 401k with an old employer, stop what you're doing and call Trajan Wealth, 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor, paid advertisement. Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy? Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data? $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan at an amazing price with no contracts. Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean, Totalmente. find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. It's been a windy afternoon with plenty of sun and low humidity and a high of 74. Tonight cools down to 57 under clear skies. Tomorrow and Saturday are sunny and breezy with low humidity, high 77. This report is sponsored by Tampa Machinery Auction. If you need cash for any type vehicle, truck, boat, trailer, construction equipment, let Tampa Machinery Auction help. Consignments accepted through Wednesday, April 10th. Saturday, April 13th will be a timed online auction. Visit tmauction.com or call 813-986-2485. License AB135 and AU4650. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation for over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. You've texted, tweeted, and slid into the DMs. Now it's time to showcase your best insults, opinions, and utter and ridiculous nonsense from the week that was. Some call it therapy. We call it time for payback. This is the mailbag on the drive with T Kratz. You freaking people, let me tell you, you never cease to amaze me. I would expect nothing more from you. Your hateful remarks, you know, the show is getting off the ground. It's a very exciting time for me, for Chris Mathis, for the radio station. You don't care. We just come on here. We try and deliver news. We'll break news on occasion. We entertain. We inform. It's not enough for you people. And I get it. I'm never going to win with some of you because some of you are miserable in nature. In nature, you try and project your misery onto me and this radio station for what? Is this the kind of despicable behavior that you exhibit each and every day? Shame on you. This is one of the most despicable displays of conduct in the history of the World Wrestling Federation. Speaking of wrestling, if you notice, if you're watching on the stream, and you better be watching because we're going to give away a final pair of the Drive Night Out tickets. Wait, Tom, uh, real quick. So you're giving out a pair of tickets for the Rays game on the 12th to people that come at us each and every week. Correct. Wow. Okay, anyway, about the shirt, NWO. NWO, man, for life. I don't have my toothpick or else I would do the Scott Hall thing. Scott Hall, the late, great Scott Hall, one of my all-time favorites. Chico, hey, hey, yo. <laughs> toothpick right in your face. All right, let's start on Monday, you freaking people. Um, um, I sound like Eric Neander. Um, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Mike in Chattanooga, it's okay to admit if you miss Ronnie. Did I say I missed Ronnie on Monday? I'm not sure what that was. Uh, look at this guy. I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, if you're going to text in and criticize me or just if you disagree with a take, that's fine. But when you take it too far and you don't know how to spell, I think you're doubly an idiot. Like Steve. T. Kraz had some... He, I guess you try to say predictions, but he said predications. T. Kraz... Uh, say that again. Yeah, T. Kraz had some predications go wrong. That's par for the course. Well, you're a freaking moron. That's par for the course, too. You'd keep your mouth shut if you knew it was good for you, buddy. If you know it's good for you, keep your mouth shut and don't text. Because you only embarrass yourself. The people who go on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you're only embarrassing yourselves. What if your employer saw that? I tell you what, if I was your boss and I saw what you were doing, like you're trolling people on the radio, really? Third prize is you're fired. You're out. Get out. You're fired. You better be very careful because the crap that you put on social media will come back and get you. What goes around comes around. Uh, out of the 941, your very first keyword on the cue card should have been Ronnie. Yeah, I'll try and remember that for next time. Uh, here's, <laughs> out of the 813, I did my impersonation of Randy Macho Man Savage. Speaking of wrestling, and this guy was very complimentary. Dude, that's almost a perfect Macho Man. Ooh, yeah, Macho Man is here. A cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah, cup of coffee. Yeah, because you never know when you're going to get that next shot. Yeah. Phenomenal. Thank you. And uh, if only they were watching on the video stream on YouTube at 953WDA, uh, they could see just how much you get into it, Tom. Uh, I do get into it. I'm passionate about everything that I do, believe it or not. Uh, interesting. The name of the show is The Drive, yet the prize will go to someone sitting in front of a computer unless you're advocating watching a stream while driving. And we don't do that, necessarily. But for this particular instance, for this contest, we wanted to try something different. And that's what we're going to do every once in a while here on the show. Uh, out of the 813, this was April Fool's Day on Monday. And I, I just think that April Fool's Day is so played. It's so ridiculous. Speaking of childish. Oh, my gosh, it is. I'm going to get to you in just a second, buddy. Uh, stop uh -oh. dissing on April Fool's. This guy out of the 813. Uh, you're just as bad as Little League parents scoffing at me during burnouts in my Hellcat. The hell does that mean, sir? I don't know, man. Come on, Get choke him now, choke him. Choke him. Is choke he him. choke him? Is he hinting at that after like rec league baseball practice, he spins off, does some donuts in yeah, the parking lot? Yeah, I, I don't get that. Who, who knows? Who knows with these people, man? Uh, I don't get involved in your personal lives. That's that's for you. Uh, Tuesday out of the eight one three, Tikraz, you have a face for radio. I can't believe how much you keep trying to drive traffic towards video streams um opinions vary on the face for radio part weren't you on tv last night tom i was yeah i saw that yeah no oh, thank you thank you bay news nine the spectrum sports 360 sports show 10 30 on wednesdays fridays and saturdays as well the only way you're getting on tv sir if you're in the back of a squad car if you know what i mean clown out uh, of the 813 devin and sarasota uh, I love meeting you guys at Oak and Stone. It was hard not to be a fanboy. Oh, come on. That's, that's, that's a very nice thing to say, Devin. We appreciate meeting you as well. Um, when's the first episode of The Drive with T. Kraz and Rasheed Rice? <laughs> Rasheed Rice, by the way, his lawyer came out today and said, yeah, he was driving the Lamborghini. There was a Lamborghini and a Corvette. Of course he was driving the Lamborghini. And he fled the scene, too. And he fled the scene, and he says he's fully cooperating with police. But, you know, Mike Florio told us yesterday, I think that young man might be in a lot of trouble. Uh, ben in Clearwater, no booze in the suite for drive night out. Martini Mathis got too crazy last year. You didn't get crazy <laughs> at all last year, did you? Did, uh, no. did you have a drink last year at any of the... Um, well, we did it like six times, I think. Yeah. I had one drink. I did. I had one drink, but that was it throughout those six times. So, no, I did not get crazy. That's the thing. I try to watch what I do. I'm like some of you people. That's right. 
You're a responsible young man, and I admire that about you. Um, out of the seven six three again, Eric Neander. Uh, this guy was uh, railing on one of the other shows, which I'm not going to read. But he did say, Tom, you're all right. I enjoy listening to you. Good luck with the new show. That out of the 763. I appreciate that. There's one in the good column, I guess. Uh, yesterday. Okay. yeah. Oh, it is nice, Tyler Glass. Now, I hope you're doing well out there, you pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin. he is. I saw him throwing some heat the other day, man. Yeah, he was definitely throwing Made some heat. Made me sad. Um, out of the 727, it's called The Drive. If we are driving, how can we watch Twitch to win? <laughs> You pull over, man. Pull you, over. You pu pull over. Get some gas. I don't pull know. Go over. get a snack. Whatever. No, it's a car to get, but thanks for noticing. Pull a car over the side of the road. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Uh, wait, t Cries, is that cue card printed uh, on Ronnie Lane letterhead? Come on, man. You, pe you people making fun of poor Ronnie. No, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. That's why they call it Match Martinus. I love Ronnie. Uh, day off today for Ronald. Good for him. Uh, Jerry Northdale, Tom, I think your best interview you ever did was with Jay Moore when you were filling in for the big dog. I think you put him in his place about Steve's moniker. And, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, Jerry. I mean, that was, man, eight, nine years ago maybe? Yeah, I got into it with Jay Moore. We went back and forth for like 40 minutes. I got called into the principal's office afterward. And basically it started because, A, we used to carry a show. He was ragging on the Tampa Bay area, and then he was making fun of Steve. And I wasn't going to ha have that at all. Not not one bit. So I got upset with the fact that, you know, he was attacking us as an area, and then he was attacking my good friend, the late great Steve Dooming. So I jumped to his defense because that's what people do. I had his back. So we went back and forth, and, you know, Years later, he apologized. He came back here to Tampa Bay, and, dude, I don't know, me and Ronnie, we had him on the air, and first off, maybe he refused to acknowledge me or remember the incident in question, but he was on something because he had a stand-up act. He came right off the plane, came right from the airport, came in studio, and Dirk Cutter was the coach at the time, and he was making some derogatory comments, mispronouncing his name. Uh, I didn't like that at all. And a lot of you texting in today. Uh, <laughs> you see that last text, Chris Mathis? Uh, let me check. From Tiffany in Tampa. Yeah. What is that all about? Should uh, we be even reading that? I don't know. That's totally your call. But I, I see what they're saying. Yeah, I see what she's saying. Uh, T. Kraz, you have a nice face. Women pay thousands of dollars for lips like yours. Because the whole Botox thing, I'm guessing. Thank you, Tiffany. I, I appreciate that very much. Um, uh, um. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was some other text here. No, I'm not going to read that one. Um, Did you get to the tweeter? Tweeter. No, Twitter, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a matter of moments. No, I'm not going to read that. Oh, t -Kraz, I like this one. t -Kraz, can we get T-shirts with the new logo? Yes! I've spoken with John Mamola. I love the new logo. I want to get hats and T-shirts with the Drive with t -Kraz logo. It's oh, very dude. fancy, man. Yeah, let's do that. I'll wear it around town. I'll wear it, too. Uh, the only people that call in are Mathis and t -Kraz's relatives. That's not true, Steve. Hey, Dad, you can hang up. Yeah. Oh, what was that, Tom? Oh, that's right. You know, work on your vo vocabulary and your spelling, you punk. Uh, t Kraz had just jumped on YouTube. Scott Hall is smiling down on you. Yeah, yes, Scott Hall, the late, great Scott Hall, NWO for, for life. And then there was a couple of guys who tweeted in yesterday from the Brandon Lau interview. Some guy named No Bozos with a clown emoji. Go figure, right? He <laughs> says, honestly, who cares? Then... Then why are you commenting? Who cares? I like the who cares guy. Who Hey, who cares? They, you know, shut your freaking mouth. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all on social media, especially if you're some irrelevant clown with a no bozos, you know, 
image on your Twitter or X. And if you don't care, you shouldn't take the time to message us. And look, and this guy, and this guy is, is a hater. I know that for a fact. And that's fine. That's what he does because he's probably miserable too in his own life. Uh, Matt Schurig on Twitter. And look, I'll call you out. I don't care. I'm going to expose you for what you are. You're a hater. And he was saying, oh, what are we going to get for him? t Kraz is a clown who thinks he's the big dog. I don't think I'm anybody, Matt, but myself. Been in this business long enough. I know who I am. I'm confident in who I am. And I made it to this point because of what I am. And what you are is a troll. All right, there you have it. Mailbag here a day early on a Thursday presented by Bartow Ford. They're different and they will prove it. And let me tell you, the hateful people out there are different and they prove it. And right now, you know what it is. If you're watching us on the stream, I am holding up the cue card with the keyword. And if you call in right now at 888-546-4620, you successfully relay the keyword to our guy, Chris Mathis, and you will win the final pair of tickets the drive night out. It's the first one of the baseball season. A chance for you to join us in a suite for the Rays game against the Giants next Friday, April the 12th. So good luck. I hope one of you, hopefully it's a really good fan, not a hateful person. And why would a hateful person would want to call up and hang out with me anyway? If, if you don't like me, then why would you want to come out and hang out with us? We do this because we want to bond with our listeners, not drive you away. We want to bond with you. We want to put our arms around you and say thank you for listening to WDAE. Thank you for listening to The Drive. That's what we do around here. I'm all about the love. And if you're all about the hate, then get the hell out of here, you know? Get out. That, that simple. Come on. Are you professional or not? Uh, I'd like to think I'm professional, but a lot of you may not be so professional. So there you have it, the mailbag. All right, coming up, the NFL did something today that makes me sick to my stomach. And I'm going to tell you what that is on the way back. It's The Drive with T-Kraz, your calls and texts, too, on the other side. You're on The Drive with T-Kraz. Guys, whether it's an injury, accident, product liability, medical malpractice, if you are the victim of some sort of negligence against you or someone you love, you got to get on the phone, call my guys, the personal injury law firm that is Catania and Catania because they've been at this more than 30 years. They don't get paid unless you get paid, and they've been getting a lot of money for their clients over the years. $500 million plus has been recovered for injury victims just like you. So call them, protect your rights, Catania, Catania. That's the ticket, 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online, get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, guess what? They put families first, office Tampa, not an attorney spokesman. We know sometimes you can't listen to us, but you don't want to be left in the dark. So follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Get the latest breaking news, scores, commentary, and all the other stuff you just got to have. Always be in the game. Follow us now. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE traffic update. Minor crash on 301 and Palm River Road. Also, we're seeing big delays on northbound 275 from the hump on the Howard Franklin Bridge to Pastdale, Mabry, and through downtown Tampa. Eastbound I-4, it's slow from 301 out towards McIntosh Road. Crash being cleared on westbound MLK near Himes, and we're seeing delays on westbound Fowler Avenue near 30th Street. Southbound 275, it's slow in St. Pete, south of Roosevelt. Crash on Bryan Dairy near U.S. 19. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their end-to-end -end solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all year round. Schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from your Indeed dashboard. Learn more by visiting Indeed.com slash credit. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. 
Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Revar Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RevarBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Revar Buick GMC. GMC, we are professional grade. Hey guys, Jay Retro here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Emily Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls, fan favorites, and they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa, my answer always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. Since 1985, Faith's Electric has proudly served as Tampa's premier electrical contractor. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we bring a commitment to excellence in both commercial and residential projects. Our 24-7 gold service is Tampa's most recommended electric contractor. Our dedicated electricians prioritize quality workmanship and unparalleled client communication, ensuring your project is on time and completed to perfection. See why our clients rave about Faith's Electric. Power on, power on. Hi, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team with LPT Realty. Are you looking to sell a high-end home? The official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning offer exclusive video technology to get your luxury home listing in front of qualified buyers all over the world. Visit us at DuncanDuo.com. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. Summit Racing is the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right. From custom grills to tonneau covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends April 14th, 2024. It's been a windy afternoon with plenty of sun and low humidity and a high of 74. Tonight cools down to 57 under clear skies. Tomorrow and Saturday are sunny and breezy with low humidity, high 77. The biggest guests and analysts from around the world of sports. The Dan Patrick Show, tomorrow morning at 9. Now back to The Drive with T-Kraz on WDAE and streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. What's on tonight with The Drive with T-Kraz? Yes, sir, and it's brought to you by my guy, John Howard. Great seeing him the other day here in studio and HowardTeamHomeLoans.com with our guy, Chris Mathis. Yeah, no doubt John is a great guy. Got to see him in the hallway. Your Tampa Bay Lightning will take on the Canadians there on the road tonight at 7 <laughs> on Bally Sports. John Cooper looking to take care of business tonight with his bolts. Little basketball action tonight as the Nuggets will take on the Clippers at 10 o'clock. You can watch that game, of course, after the Lightning game on TNT. And as always, podcasting on demand via that free iHeartRadio app. The drive is up and running up there on the iHeartRadio app. Download it. Listen to everything 
On Demand. In case you've just now joined us, we just had the mailbag. We also played Let It Ride, joined by Mark Topkin. Also spoke with Eric Neander as well. And that interview with Eric Neander that I did earlier in the show will be rerun coming up in about 10 minutes, just after 6 o'clock. And he had an update on Brandon Lau. He had an update on Taj Bradley and Junior Caminero, as well as the three and four start for your Rays. They are off today. They begin their first road trip of 2024 tomorrow afternoon in Colorado. 4-10 first pitch with Zach Littell on the mound because they play at 4 o'clock tomorrow. That means the drive with yours truly will be preempted. We're going to be off tomorrow because of Rays baseball. That's why we did the mail back today. Now, I saw something earlier today that really, really made me sick. It made me mad. made me upset. You know, the NFL is an incredible business. Revenues of $12 billion plus. They have their own network, the NFL network, that does really well. They did something really, really strange recently. Good Morning Football is not only the best show on the NFL network, it's one of the best television shows, period, that's on TV. Not just sports shows, football shows. Good Morning Football and our good friend Sarah Walsh did an incredible job that last week from New York anchoring it. So hats off to her. She's awesome. But Good Morning Football is one of the best shows on TV. And they're moving the venue from New York to L.A. Why? Because the prices in New York where the studio is situated was too much for the NFL. Oh, we can't keep paying this rent. So we're going to pack up. By the way, we're not going to tell our stars. We're not going to tell Kyle Brand or Peter Schrager that we're moving the show 3,000 miles across the country to freaking L.A. Those guys found out after the fact. That's terrible. How do you do that? It's the best show on your network, one of the best shows, if not the best show, maybe on TV that's on right now. Entertaining, informative, provocative. And you don't even tell the stars, hey, um, by the way, uh, you better pack your bags because we're moving to L.A. in two or three months. What? What a terrible move by the NFL. Terrible. And today, it got even worse. The NFL Network cut four people, four really good professionals, were cut today by the NFL Network. Andrew Siciliano is one of the best. Uh, Chris Mathis, let's see if we can try and get Andrew Siciliano on for next week. All right, yeah. I'll reach out. Yeah. He's awesome, and he's always been one of my favorites. James Palmer was also let go by the NFL Network. Another true professional. Melissa Stark, awesome. She's been at this for years. Great reporter, great anchor, highly professional. She was a victim today, as well as Will Selva, who does a terrific job as well. So those four talents were cut today by the NFL. You make how much money? This is about people and dealing with people. You want to be a successful operation? You need to do a better job. Be better than that when it comes to dealing with people, when it comes to dealing with professionals that made your network one of the best on TV, that made your network maybe the best show on TV in Good Morning Football, that you decided to pick up and go 3,000 miles to the left. Without telling the stars of the show, by the way, that you were doing it first. They had to find out after the fact. Shame on the NFL. Shame on the people that run the NFL network, which is the league itself. What an atrocious job. You want to talk about unprofessionalism. Are you professional or not? Not. They are not professional. What a disgrace. It really is. 888-546-4620. That's the phone number. And you can text in your thoughts at 82945 on the Bartow 4DA text platform as we'll take you up until 7 o'clock. All right, coming up, 
In case you missed it, Eric Neander, one of the things I love about this man, and I call him a friend and a colleague, and we've had a couple of differences over the years, but one thing you can always say about Big E, the president, El Jefe, of baseball operations with the Rays, he's a stand-up dude. Win or lose, he's always answering my call. He's always answering my text. He's one of the smartest guys that I've ever known. He's one of the nicest people I've ever known. And he's really good at what he does. But he's got an update on Brandon Lau, Junior Caminero. What about the three and four start? What about the start really concerns you? The president of baseball operations, Eric Neander, he's going to join me coming up next. It's the drive with T. Kraz on your ride home on a Thursday. Hang on. You're locked in to the drive with T. Kraz. Guys, car accident, motorcycle accident, truck accident. If you are someone you love has been victimized by any of these occurrences, you got to get on the phone with my guys over at Catania Catania, the personal injury law firm that's been doing their thing for three decades here in the Tampa Bay area. They don't get paid unless you get paid, and they've been getting a lot of money for their clients. $300 million has been successfully recovered. Actually, $500 million has been successfully recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So they're tenacious. They're successful. They're there every step of the way. They're Catania Catania. So give them a call. Tell them that yours truly, Tom Krasnicki, sent you. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or get a free evaluation of your case online at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not a thirty spokesman. It's a Tampa Bay tradition unlike any other. Well, sort of. It's back. The Drive Night Out with t Crash. Score yourself a pair of tickets to hang out with t Crash at the Trop and a Suite at Tropicana Field. And get the VIP treatment. For food, drinks, swag, and so much more as the Rays take on the Giants. Be listening all week to win. Presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. At International Diamond Center, you can take your time and design and meticulously create the most unique, most exquisite ring imaginable. But if that's not your thing, we understand. And that's why we created the IDC Signature Collection. Ready-to-wear rings at every price point. It's a complete ring that's already done. We pick out the small diamonds, and we pick out the center diamond, and it's assembled, and it gets our stamp of approval. IDC owner, Keith LeClaire. People like this because of the value that they're receiving because they're getting a complete ring without having to piece it together themselves. Even if your budget is $1,000, IDC has a ring you can take with you today with a quality, stylish setting and a GIA-certified diamond. We did all the hard work for you. Listen, we're the experts. Our job is to pick the right diamond for the right setting at the right price point, and I think we do a pretty good job of it. Discover the no-stress IDC Signature Collection. Buy it today. Propose with it tonight. International Diamond Center, Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and online at shopidc.com. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Jake from State Farm. I just beat my running PR, so I'm celebrating. 
Keep celebrating when you bundle and save with the State Farm Personal Price Plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. Believe it or not, most small businesses don't have a 401k. If you don't have a 401k, you are missing out on the greatest wealth creation tool ever created. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and many 401ks are overpriced for the employer, have expensive and underperforming investment options, and have tedious administrative provisions. Not at Trajan Wealth. We can set up a 401k for a company for only 8 bucks per employee, a $65 per plan fee, plus a small advisory fee. That's right, not thousands or even the tens of thousands you've been quoted. And do it all in less time than it takes to sit in traffic. If you have five or more employees, these 401ks will help you attract and retain top talent. And if you're an employee and don't have a 401k, tell your boss, call Trajan Wealth today. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Services offered through a third-party partner. Looking for a career you'll love with flexibility, great pay, and benefits, and one of the country's top workplaces? Come join our growing team at Progressive Insurance. Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey guys, T. Kraz here. For my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine, guys. So if you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love doing, you got to call my guys over at QC Kinetics. I did. They fixed my elbow. They fixed my knee. They can do the same for you. No surgery, no steroids, no drugs. They are a thing of the past. Regenerative medicine is where it's at, and they can deliver lasting results. They can use your own body's biologics to restore and repair damaged joint tissue, and that's what QC Kinetics will do. So get your life back, guys. Call them. QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you going again with no downtime. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, located in Bradenton, Lakeland, St. Pete, and Brandon. Tell them your boy T-Crash sent you. This Saturday is Kegs and Eggs Tampa at Bay Area Renaissance Festival. A 21 and up event complete with adult Easter egg hunt, craft beer, great prizes, music contests, games, and more. Kegs and Eggs. Get tickets at the door starting at 11 a.m. or online at kegsandeggstampa.com. Hi, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team. We're now part of LPT Realty, one of the fastest growing real estate companies in the country. A great change for us, but what hasn't changed is our guarantee to get your home sold in 14 days. Visit us at DuncanDuo.com. That's DuncanDuo.com. Good Greek moving is so rich. The superhero movers. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, the home of Bolts Nation before the ice was laid down in Tampa Bay. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellis Park, and the mighty 620 WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Lightning fans, free has never sounded so good. It's Thursday from Pinellas Park to Trinity and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. The gloves are off. I'm playing hardball. It's fourth and 15, and you're looking at a full court press. You're tuned into the voice of the Tampa Bay sports fan. You're going to like this guy. He's all right. He's a good fella. He's one of us. Buckle up. Because you're on the drive with T-Kraz. 
Afternoons on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Brandon, uh, just tightness in his side. It was really my call. He wanted to stay in the game. But given that we have an off day tomorrow and that um, I think um, we're getting a lefty game one, that should give him two full days to, to rest it and see where it goes from there. He felt it um, not during the swing. He just felt it was tight. Uh, I think my left side is a little tight as well. Welcome back. Is that an oblique, Tom? It is an oblique. This is your oblique. Your side right here, even though they won't say it's an oblique with Brandon Lau, it's your oblique. That was Kevin Cash from after the game yesterday where the Rays lost to Texas. Brandon Lau left the game, left side tightness. Kevin Cash says, eh, I decided to pull him out. He felt something. It wasn't swinging a bat, whatever it was. We don't want it to get worse. Obviously, the Rays are running out of left-handed hitters, so they're going to be extra cautious with Brandon Lau. Good evening, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. It's the final hour of the drive with T-Kraz at 6.08 on your ride home. Great to have you with us. 95.3 FM AM 620. Don't forget to download the iHeartRadio app. You can access commercial-free podcasts of this pathetic show through the iHeartRadio app. It's great. And don't forget, we are streaming the show, don't you know, on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Like and subscribe at 953WTAE. We gave away the final two pair of tickets for our very first installment of the Drive Night Out next Friday. You can join us in a suite for the Rays-Giants game. We have all of our winners, so congratulations to everyone. Drew in St. Pete, he won the final pair when he knew that Haterade was the final <laughs> keyword. Which he, is a word, by the way. It is a word. I, You know, I looked it up and I asked you before the show, is Haterade, is that a real word? I thought there was like a slang dictionary. But that is a word, which I was very interested and surprised in knowing so. We made that the word. Excessive negativity, criticism, or resentment. <laughs> Boom. That's perfect. That's you. That's the people who text in, the, the dummies on Twitter. That's you. Haterade. All day, every day. And guess what? I dig it. We like it. I also dig our next guest. Let's get more on the Rays and the injury updates on Brandon Lau and everyone else. Let's go to the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. He is El Jefe, the Rays president of baseball operations. Reluctantly, Eric Neander is joining me here on the drive, even though his team is off to a three and four start. E, how's it going, buddy? Reluctantly, yes, yes, I'm doing doing okay. Uh, making the most of an off day here to to get some things taken care of that I haven't been able to address. Having a game every day here for some time and spring training and all that, so just settling into the the rhythms and the routines of the regular season. Well, you know as well as anybody, you're only seven games in. You got a long way to go. So, did you make the trip out to Colorado? Or are you staying behind? No, I'm at the trop right now and uh gonna gonna stay behind for this one. Got a few other people on the road to uh to take this one in and uh we'll greet them when they come back. Gotcha. All right, let's talk about Brandon Lau. I'm sure there's some sense of frustration on his side and you heard Kevin Cash there. I, I think he did the right move in pulling him out of that game, but what can you tell us in terms of Brandon Lau and the left side tightness? Yeah, yeah, as I said that team's going to take off later today. I'm not with them, but everything I was able to hear Cashy's comments when you played him before I got on there, and that is very consistent with where we are as of, of this moment. So everything today didn't wake up. Nothing got worse. Um, the comments, his his feeling of kind of feeling that it was some soreness related to working out rather than anything attributable to a swing um, appears to be spot on. Didn't wake up any worse. Uh, woke up better, in fact, and as, as Cashy mentioned post game yesterday, I think with a lefty going tomorrow, my guess is it'll just give him another day to make sure everything's flushed out of there. But uh, yeah, thankfully, it doesn't appear to be a, a situation where another lefty bat's going on the IL. And uh, that's a good thing for us, a great thing for us, and, and for Brandon as well. It should be fine. So as of right now, probably not going on the injured list from what you've been able to yeah, gather. He woke up today I, feeling I good. I think. I think uh, very, 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 very likely Cash will, you know, have an update tomorrow. But 
it's, I think, as he said, he wanted to stay in the game. Cash pulled him out in part because we can't really afford to lose another lefty. And based on everything today, would would expect him in the lineup this weekend. And you mentioned that. You're running out of left-handed hitters. Josh Lowe's already on the on the injured list. So is Jonathan Aranda. You don't want to have Brandon Lau go on there, too. So how big of a problem is this? Yeah, it's, look, it's not it's not ideal. <laughs> it's not, uh, you, you, you know, anytime we face some righties here in the early going, some really good righties. And, um, you know, having J-Lo and Aranda with our, our belief in him and what he showed us this spring, you know, it'd be nice to have a few more on hand. But, um, you know, that's why you have Richie Palacios, you know, is to, to put him in a position, Austin Shenton as we go along, et cetera. It, it does open up some space for others to step up. And, um you know, we have our, our most established hitters, you know, a lot of them are right-handed, you know, Yandy, Randy, you know, for example. So um, if our lineup does tip righty, you know, it's okay. I don't think it's the end of the world, but we, we do like to have a balance and we are missing a couple big ones um, as, you know, as I just noted. So stuff that happens over the course of the season, a little more frustrating because at the end of last year, you know, we had that vulnerability as well with Brandon out, with Luke Raley out, you know, going into the postseason. I think we felt that a little bit, but um, it is what it is. Everybody has their, their injuries and it's opportunity for some others and you know, we'll be, we'll be okay. And we'll get those guys that are out back here. Not, not too far off. Eric Neander, the race president of baseball operations, is with us here on The Drive. So seven games. Look, you've been around long enough to know there's not going to be any knee-jerk reactions or anything. But if there's one area of concern, maybe it's the lack of left-handed hitting. Is there an area of concern after seven games that you're thinking, okay, we need to keep track of this? Just keeping guys healthy. (laughs) <laughs> is is the big one right now. I think I think beyond that, look, there's there's stuff you feel good about. There's some you know some observations, some players that you're confident that you know better better games days will be in front of them. All that stuff um, certainly in the ebbs and flows, and just being careful not to to react too much one way or the other. But I think by and large, you know what we've gotten out of our starters. We've had a couple of innings that have blown up and gotten sideways on it. But I think for the most part, most of the innings, you know, as you go back through at each outing. Um, been, you know, happy with, with the quality, you know, especially going up against a couple of good offenses. I think the, the walks, you know, have gotten us in a way that is very uncharacteristic, you know, from our staff, but confident that'll take care of itself in, in short order. Guys that are strike throwers, you know, are going to continue to be strike throwers. They go through blips, but just part of it, when all you have to look at seven games, there's a lot to think about and analyze and overanalyze, but I think all in all, um, feel pretty good about, kind of how this team's rolling up and and how it'll compete this year aside like i said just getting some of those bats back in the lineup to help balance this out i think will be a big thing for us you mentioned the starting pitching and i think there's three guys right now you have to feel pretty good about eflin rebounded he looked really good the other night throwing strikes obviously playing up to his game aaron savali he's two for two two really good starts so Discuss Savali a little bit because he came over in the trade and I know he wanted to pitch a lot better than what he did down the stretch. What kind of changes have you seen in him and his game? And I know you guys have been working with him that are making a big difference right now. Yeah, you know, I think it's just, the, the, look, there's, there's plenty of reasons that we acquired him, you know, in the first place. And like I said, the last time we talked, the, the run prevention with us wasn't what it was in Cleveland. It felt like the, you know, the, the truth of who he is is probably somewhere, you know, in the middle. And last year, I think he had like a three, just under three and a half ERA on the season. You know, if you put it all together, you know, looks looks pretty good. Um, and I think that's that's more of who he is. But certainly in the early going here, um, he's he's avoided the deep at bats. He last year there were a lot of pitches that were maybe an inch off. You know, a lot of borderline pitches that ran up counts and you know things played out a lot differently than they did in Cleveland it was going really deep in the games just I think from what we've seen in the early going um you know he's missed he's missed an inch in the zone rather than an inch out you know he's got more strike calls he's got more ahead he's commanded more at bats and has established his fastball the sinker you know he's got the cutter four seamer just a lot of mix and um He's he's just executing, I think, at a at ever so slightly better clip than he did for us last year. And sometimes those those very subtle differences can lead to dramatic differences in the in the run prevention. But um, not not surprised by any means. This is, I think, who he is, and he's going to have stretches like this. And sometimes you have stretches like he did last year, but certainly in a really good place here out of the gates. So the starting pitching is something obviously that you guys pride yourselves on, and we just talked about all the injuries. 
Who is the soonest guy that could come off the injured list that can really make a difference? Is it Taj Bradley? Is he the guy who's closest to a return in your estimation? Yeah, I think without without question. And, you know, as as we look at it, I think it's, you know, Taj was, was healthy all last year. This, it's unfortunate. This this peck issue was was truly very minor, but it's just, you know, you take a ball out of the you know, the hands of a starter for you know, even if it's just 10 days, you know, you're, you, you, there's an at workload, you know, atrophy, so to speak, you got to start building them back up, go through, go through everything in a seven to 10 days and no throw can turn into, you know, six weeks of missed time before you're built back up. But he is, he's doing really well. I think the month of April here, will start getting them into, you know, games built out to, to be back in our mix, but um, excited with, you know, the potential he demonstrated last year and then what we saw in camp, you know, the outing against the Yankees in Tampa, um, you know, had us very optimistic about, you know, the work he put in this winter and our expectations for him this year. So he's definitely, you know, at the front of that line. And then and then we'll go from there. Um, Shane Boz has had this kind of nagging oblique situation. It's not a big deal. You just got to get it right. And also in a situation where he's, you know, coming off of two years of nearly entirely missed time, uh, you're not you don't have a full workload to play with so we'll get that right we'll get him back but that'll be a little bit later you know before he gets into consideration for opportunity to be passed first for sure so you're thinking bradley late april early may i know once you stop him you got to ramp him back up again and i know that's always a process right yeah i think going through the exactly the the two winning outings to the three to the four to the five and you know the big thing is you got you know once they're up they just they've got to carry a workload you can't really cover them up with the 13 pitchers you know on the roster it's not necessarily fair to those around them so i think we're probably roughly speaking a month out you know from him being built out to that five six inning territory in a way that you think is responsible but everything to this point is going as planned jose caballero one of your newcomers playing shortstop and you know, defensively, I'm sure he'd like to have a couple of those plays back from yesterday, but he's hitting over 300. Just your overall assessment of him being practically your everyday shortstop, how you think he's doing? I know it's early. Yeah, no, it is. It is early, but I think, you know, we've gotten what we what we thought we were going to get. You know, you did a great job by our, you know, our pro scouting group and, and everyone as you're gathering information on, on the player, you know, our R and D or analytics teams from assessing the abilities through their lens, you know, really understanding the the person, the competitor, um, like, like what we've seen, you know, they believe very much it's a, it's a winning baseball player with exceptional instincts for, for the game. Um, you saw it with the bunt he put down against Toronto, uh, with two outs, you know, they ended up with a little bit of a heated moment there on the other side, but you know, it's a winning baseball play. You know, he's he's able to do those things. Just missed the three run homer last night that would have tied the game in the ninth. Um, has stolen some bases, has had competitive at bats, done a lot of different things on the field. So, um, you know, we we appreciate him, and uh, you know, we're happy to have him. And I think he's given us uh, at least as much as what we we're expecting going in, and going to be a big part of what we're doing moving forward. So if if Brandon somehow misses a few games, what is the short and long term solution? Uh, I know Aranda's still out. You got Curtis Mead. I know you think highly of him. I think Curtis Mead has got the ability to be an everyday second baseman. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think without without question. Yeah, we're we're in a spot where we've we've had some infielders really establish themselves uh and you know brandon's done it for some time now yandy at first paredes with what he did last year 30 and 100 or thereabouts um you know or <laughs> he got some he got some good guys here and, and curtis is in a position where um I, I don't know if he's flown under the radar a little bit you know but a lot of the camonero attention etc in a sense that he he has but this is somebody that has a very good track record of hitting um, he's, he, he puts together really good at bats. He can, he can drive the baseball from line to line and, uh, the work ethics exceptional and he has worked incredibly hard at his defense and it, and it shows, um, he has put himself in a position where we're really comfortable with what he can do at third and second, uh, gives him some versatility, allows him to find a few different ways into the lineup. And look right now he's 23 years old. There's a lot in front of them, and we had a decision to make, you know, as to whether to send them to Durham to play regularly down there, or if, you know, having some time in Durham in 2022, 2023, is it better to give them kind of a part-time role in the big leagues um, and let them just do what he can with that? And felt like he could handle it, and it's hard for a young player to not play every day. 
Um, but if opportunities open up, we're confident he can take them. And, you know, like you said, for Brandon, if things go where any of these guys are down uh, and it opens up a little more lane for Curtis, we do believe he's a player that has everyday potential and could very well be that this season if the opportunity is there where that's what we need him to do. Well, lastly, you just mentioned him, a guy who's got everyday potential down in Durham, 20-year-old junior Caminero. I know he had the quad injury. The early reports are it's not that serious, so that's certainly good thing. Some good injury news for you, Hart, right? But wh- yeah, yeah, we, we where, do. <laughs> where, <laughs> where is he at now, and what is the plan for him, you know, six to eight weeks down the road? Yeah, I think it's, look, it's getting to a level that he hasn't experienced yet, playing every day, and then we'll see how he responds to those challenges. You know, a little more fastball velocity, a little more command and execution, better breaking balls, et cetera. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. The quad, like you said, it's it's minor. Um, it's very day-to-day. You know, we're not talking about much missed time here. I think it's probably a week to take care of it right, maybe a little longer, you know, depending on how things go, how the weather is, if it warms up, yada, yada. But um, in terms of his development, offensively just seeing how he responds to a little bit better competition um optimistic that that's going to go well for him you know that's the expectation and then beyond that it's he's 20 years old you know it's it's going to be the rest of his game you know how's that developing we harp on the importance of being a player that help you know helps us win on both sides of the ball obviously the more you help on one side the less you need to help on the other but it is important at 20 years old but it potentially has um to 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 be in a position to help us on both sides of the ball. He has that ability. So um, continuing to work on the defensive side is going to be important where exactly that fits is something we'll continue to think about as, as we go. Um, but we got plenty of time to, to sort through that as, you know, as we move along here. So um, yeah, get them healthy, get them back and see what kind of feedback AAA level gives them and go from there. All right, the Rays are up today. They'll be in Colorado tomorrow to kick off a road trip, and it'll be the first road trip of 2024. Of course, all the Rays games can be heard right here on your home for Rays baseball, WDAE. He's the Rays president of baseball operations, Eric Neander. E, I appreciate a few minutes as always. So do the Rays fans, and good luck on this road trip. We'll talk to you next week, buddy. Appreciate it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Eric Neander, certainly appreciate a few minutes of his time. So good injury news. Brandon Lau felt a lot better today, maybe Saturday. Now, Saturday night, it'll be in the 40s out in Colorado. So that's something to keep in mind there. And Judy Caminero, 20 years old. He had the quad thing. He's going to be fine in a couple of days. And I think, you know, by mid to late May, the Rays want to see him play every day. And once they see him do that and mature and progress, then I think he's going to be called up by mm, mid-May, late May. I would think if he continues to progress, and this injury is going to set him back a couple of days, I think by Memorial Day, you might see Junior Caminero here. That's just a pure gut shot, speculating guess on my part, a guesstimate, if you will. But I think if he comes back, you know, in a week, and then you have the last couple weeks of April and then most of May, if he continues to progress, I think there's a chance that by Memorial Day weekend, we'll see where the Rays are at with their injury situation. And that, of course, will play into it, too. I think Junior Caminero is going to be here by Memorial Day or maybe in the month of June. So your thoughts on that? 888-546-4620. Text at 829 829- Four or five. All right, coming up, the newest Buccaneer met with the media today. What did he have to say about what his role is going to be? We're going to get into that. And the Lightning, after an emotional win last night, they're on tap tonight up in Montreal against Les Habitants with, uh, I would say, an unknown in between the pipes. I'll tell you what, it's not Vasilevsky. We're going to tell you who that is next. Lock the preset. You're on the drive with T-Crabs. Guys, whether it's a social security, disability, and product liability, medical malpractice, injury accident, Catania Catania has experience in all of these cases, and they will have your back. They've done so for 30-plus years. They don't get paid unless you get paid, and they have successfully recovered over a half a billion dollars for injury victims just like you. Catania Catania is where it's at. 
They are going to be there for you, and they're always standing by to take your call. So call them, 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online, get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not an attorney spokesman. Tomorrow, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner. Home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Colorado Rockies. Coverage starts at 3 on the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. WDAE. Traffic update. A disabled vehicle on northbound 275 near downtown Tampa. It's in the center lane and traffic jammed up from the Howard Franklin Bridge. Also, we're seeing delays on southbound 275 from south of Sly to I-4. Eastbound I-4, slow near I-75. Crash being cleared on westbound 118th Avenue near US-19. Also, we're seeing delays in St. Pete on southbound 275 south of Roosevelt to 54th Avenue North. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hey, it's Sean Kelly, voice of the Gators for my friends at International Diamond Center. IDC is Florida's family-owned jeweler with worldwide connections. IDC delivers exceptional value, mind-blowing selection, uncompromising quality, ironclad warranties. IDC has showrooms all over Gator Country, Gainesville, Orlando, Tampa, Clearwater, Sarasota, Naples, and on the Treasure Coast. The vibe at IDC is relaxed and fun. Their non-commissioned experts will guide you every step of the way, and nobody can touch their incredible value prices. Of course, IDC's specialty is diamonds. Real, rare, precious GIA-certified diamonds in every shape and size imaginable. It's a massive selection at no middleman, direct importer prices. So when it comes to those special moments in your life, celebrate with the only jeweler endorsed by the Gators, International Diamond Center, where Gator Nation shops for jewelry. Get store locations, hours, and learn more. ShopIDC.com. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan. I know being a champion means you're a leader in your field and you always rise above your competition. That's why when summer temperatures get extreme, our home has a champion air conditioning system that keeps my family comfortable and cool. Get peak performance in your home by finding a local champion dealer at championhomecomfort.com. Ask about our special financing options with rates as low as 0% and our factory-backed extended parts and labor warranty. Always leading, never compromising, championhomecomfort.com. Hey guys, Jay Retro here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Amelie Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grill wings and Ebor egg rolls, fan favorites, and they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa? My answer, always Top Shelf Sports Lounge. Hi, this is David Savona, executive editor of Cigar Vishnana Magazine, and I want to personally invite you to Big Smoke Meets Whiskey Fest on Saturday, April 6th at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tampa to enjoy exceptional cigars and great whiskeys of the world. Get tickets online at BigSmokeWhiskeyFest.com and use the code IHEARTCIGARS to receive 20% off all tickets. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty that the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people, dot com. Good, Greek, moving in storage. Your superhero movers. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. It's been a windy afternoon with plenty of sun and low humidity and a high of 74. Tonight cools down to 57 under clear skies. Tomorrow and Saturday are sunny and breezy with low humidity, high 77. This report is sponsored by U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It's National Donate Life Month. Did you know you can donate a kidney or a piece of your liver while alive? Save a life and live to see it. Get the facts about living donation. Go to organdonor.gov. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Stuck in traffic? 
signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Uh, a lot. I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, I want to go somewhere I'm comfortable with, somewhere I know I can play and, and help. And, um, you know, a big part of that, uh, obviously, you know, they go hand in hand. You know, if our if our offense is doing well and um, could put points on the board, get the other team behind, um, you know, your opportunities for for pass rushes go up. That's Randy Gregory, the newest Buccaneer pass rusher. He met with the media today, and he said he wanted to go somewhere where he could make a difference. What type of difference can he make? For the Buccaneers as they head into 2024. Welcome back. Good evening, Tampa Bay. The drive with T. Kraz continues at 6:33 on your ride home. Randy Gregory, your thoughts on that signing? He played a full season last year for the first time in his NFL career. Obviously, he had some off the field issues. He addressed mental health too. I was impressed. You know, I was listening to him talking earlier today. It was a Zoom interview. He had some physicals. He was there. Uh, we tried to get him on, but, you know, his schedule was a little too crazy. So it's okay. We'll probably catch up with him sometime Not down the road. Time, no. Not at this time, Todd Bowles said. And we don't want him on with you anyway. That's what Todd was really thinking. But I, I was kind of impressed. And, you know, Oof. yeah, look, the older you get, whether you're Randy Gregory or me or Chris Mathis, I think you become more wiser with every experience in life, good or bad. You learn something from every experience or event that takes place in your life, good or bad. And Gregory certainly has had a few of them. And, and it sounds like that has made him a wiser, smarter version of himself at the age of 31. Look, I don't know if he's going to be able to go out there and get you 8 to 10 sacks. And when I was looking at his numbers and his career... He's never been an 8-10 to 10 sack guy. Obviously, there's been a lot of reasons for that. And, you know, because of, you know, some off-the-field things and injuries and whatnot, you know, last year he played in just about every game. You know, four games with the Broncos, and then he got traded to San Francisco, played 12 games there, played in a couple of playoff games too. So, you know, here's a guy who can still get after the passer a little bit. And look, again, he's not going to be an 8-10 to 10 sack guy, but I think if he gives you 25 to 30 snaps a game as an edge guy in pass rushing situations, third and long, et cetera, et cetera, I think he can help. And as I mentioned earlier, Todd Bowles' goal, and he talked about this after the season, he goes, I don't want to blitz, you know, 60% of the time or whatever it was. The Buccaneers blitz at the third highest rate in the NFL from a year ago. Todd Bowles would prefer not to do that. He would love to rush four, drop seven, and play coverage. If you have four guys that are capable of getting to the quarterback, you're ahead of the game. Because when you're blitzing, you're taking a chance. You're leaving guys alone. And obviously, Carlton Davis, their best cover man, I believe, was traded to Detroit. So now it's up to Jamel Dean and Zion McCollum. You know, they signed Bryce Hall from the Jets. And, you know, they signed the nickel back there from Houston. You know, they're hoping that they can get pressure from their front four. Yaya Diaby is a rookie, led the team in sacks. He's a budding star. Now you put Randy Gregory on the other side and you put your four best pass rushers on the field. That would be Gregory... And Diaby on the outside, Kalaja Kansi, our guy, along with Vita Vey on the inside. Those are your four best guys. If the Buccaneers had a lineup tomorrow and rushed a passer, they would be your four best guys right there. I think they're still looking for an edge rusher. And I think with the draft being three weeks from today, by the way, I think edge rusher's still on the table. But now the Buccaneers don't have to reach for one. 
you wait, you let the draft come to you. Hopefully six quarterbacks go in round one, which I do believe will be the case. I think six will go in round one. I think Penix and Knicks will be first round picks after the first four guys go. Caleb Williams, we all think is going one. We think that Jaden Daniels is going second to Washington and then Drake May and J.J. McCarthy shortly after that in the top five or six. And then I think Penix, based on what he did in his pro day, and I think he answered the questions about his health. I know a lot of teams are going to be questioning him on that, but you know when he got to Washington, he was fine. It was at Indiana where he suffered all those injuries, the two ACLs in the same knee and the shoulder problem. He looked pretty damn healthy last week. 37-inch vertical. He ran a 4-5 in the 40. He's in the first round. Now, the challenge is he's a left-hand quarterback, so he's going to have to go to a team that, A, values throwing the ball down the field, B, has maybe their best offensive lineman being your blindside protector, your right tackle, instead of your left tackle. Well, I'll tell you what, man, the way that dude spins it, and I had a chance to meet him at the sneaker soiree. Great kid. Big, wide smile. Great personality. He's going to knock him dead in his top 30 visits, just as he did at the Combine, just as he did his, in his pro day. He's a keeper, Michael Penix. Six quarterbacks are going to go. Brock Bowers, you know, is going to go somewhere in the top 10 to 12. And then all these receivers, that's what you're rooting for if you're the Bucks. All these guys going in the first 25 picks. And then... Maybe a nice edge rusher drops to you. Maybe the kid from UCLA. Maybe Chop Robinson from Penn State. You never know. You never know who might fall on draft day. There's always that one guy that you never thought would be there that starts to slide through the teens and then through the early 20s. And if you're Jason Light, and he's done this before, by the way, he has stayed put. He has moved up for guys. He has traded back as well. He's done all three. And the Buccaneers have kind of filled their needs. They're just going for best player available. And if it's your edge rusher, if one guy's there, if like Jared Verse, for some reason, slips through the cracks and, you know, you trade up a couple spots to get him, perfect. Lot two out of UCLA, Chop Robinson. You know, those are the guys to keep in mind. And, of course, we know about Jackson Powers Johnson, the center out of Oregon. I think a surefire starter. When you draft that guy, he's starting day one. With all due respect to Robert Hainsey. Graham Barton, there's a good chance that guy is a day one starter too. Tough, physical, nasty, mauler. That's what the Bucks need along the O-line. Last in the league in rushing. Each of the last two years, they have to address that, and I think they will. 888-546-4620. Now, I'm to the Lightning. Matt Tompkins. Who? Matt Tompkins will start for the Lightning tonight in gold in Montreal. Jack Mayhoff. No, his name's Matt Tompkins. So, the Lightning, obviously, back-to-back. -back. The emotional win last night in Toronto. Did a great job there. Kucherov with three more assists. He's at 130. The guy's a freaking machine. I mean, what more does he have to do? I oh, know McKinnon, McDavid, Mc, McDonald's, whatever, McDowell's. You know what? Kucherov, from beginning to end, he's been the most consistent performer each and every night. The dude is an offensive machine. Good for Kucherov! It is good, and it's good for the Lightning, too. Why is he not being talked about just because of his team not in first place or whatever? The Lightning are one of the hottest teams in hockey. You know, he put on another show last night, as did Andre Vasilevsky, who's got the night off tonight. But the Lightning in Montreal, then they go to Pittsburgh. They got seven games left. Four of those games are at home, only four points behind Toronto for that final playoff spot. So be the thunder tonight. Here's a little nugget for you, Tom, about Matt Tompkins. He earned his first win and his only NHL win in Montreal back in November, early November. So he's back there in a, uh, a venue in which he's won his only NHL start, I should say, his only win in his career. Oh, how about that? So take it what you will. All right, all right, all right. 
We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Tonight, the Lightning are looking to keep their winning ways going. Back-to-back on the road. Usually get you some heavy legs. An emotional win last night in Toronto. You know, slapping them around a little bit. I like it, man. I like where the Lightning are at. I know John Cooper likes where they're at, too. John Cooper. What a guy. You know? Saw him a couple of weeks ago. He came up to me and Ronnie. Hey, how you guys doing? I go, We're doing great, Coach Coop. He didn't mention the whole laughing part. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, Coop. But uh, we wish you the very best of luck tonight. Knock them dead. The playoffs are only a couple of weeks away, folks. Be ready. Pack Amelie Arena. I'll tell you what, I feel pretty good about what's going on with the Lightning. Last year, exactly a year ago, rewind the clock at this time, I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling good about Vasilevsky and where he was at with the nagging injuries, and he admitted as such after they were eliminated by Toronto. He looks locked in now. He looks healthy. The instincts are there. He's seeing the puck really well. The play in front of him was good. Only four shots on goal by Toronto in that third period. That's, that's, that's an exceptional job. You know, stick it to the Leafs. Austin Matthews, yeah, you could score 90 goals for all that matters. The Lightning could still run them down. But third place in the Atlantic, and they may very well do just that. All right, your calls and your texts as we're coming down the home stretch. Coming up in a matter of moments, it will be the final drive to close out not just a Thursday show because we're not here tomorrow because of the Rays Day game to close out the week. The final drive is coming your way next. You're tuned in to The Drive with t Crass. Hey, guys, with the summer right around the corner, I know a lot of you are thinking, man, oh, man, can we make it through this hot, sweltering summer? You're looking in your backyard. You're saying maybe you want to put in a pool. Call on my guys, the best in Tampa Bay, Pool Perfection. They are awesome. Go to PoolPerfection.com, brand-new website. Check out the unbelievable work that they do. They have hundreds of five-star Google reviews. My guy, Shy, the owner, he's awesome. And what they do is they will build your pool in weeks, not months, so it will be ready to go by the time the weather gets really hot out there. You need a trusted pool builder. You need pool perfection. They are the best in Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder. Again, tell, tell them you heard about it through your guy, T-Kraz, and the drive on the radio right here on WDAE. So call them. Get that free estimate, 727-518-POOL. That's 727-518-7665. Pool perfection, Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder. Tell them your boy, Tom Krasnicki, sent you poolperfection.com. The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing and a drive. Deep to left. Goal! Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday race game. Right here on the radio home of every race game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The home of the race. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio. WDAE traffic update delays on southbound 75 south of the Selman Expressway towards Gibson Head Drive northbound 275 still a bit slow from the West Shore area towards downtown Tampa and eastbound on the Selman a bit slow through Hyde Park southbound 275 south of Gandy towards 54th Avenue North and northbound veterans a bit slow in the area of that exit for Dale Mabry with traffic I'm Randy Myers this report is sponsored by Discover. As humans, we like having options. One option you might like is speaking with a real person when you call about your credit card. With 24-7 live U.S.-based customer service from Discover, everyone can talk to a real person anytime, day or night. Limitations apply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. Think you have to travel to New York or Los Angeles to get a deal on a five-carat colorless diamond in a one-of-a-kind designer setting? What if I told you people from those cities came here for these exquisite pieces of jewelry? Here to International Diamond Center. Welcome to the IDC Prestige 
Prestige Collection, a truly breathtaking array of large, rare diamonds, two carats and up, hand-picked for maximum brilliance and certified by the GIA. In addition, International Diamond Center is one of only 14 dealers in the world offering De Beers Forevermark Exceptional Diamonds, featuring magnificent diamonds five carats and up, including the rarest and most exquisite diamonds on the planet. The IDC Prestige Collection and the Forevermark Exceptional Diamond Collection are for the discriminating shopper with refined taste and uncompromising standards. No need to travel or have it flown in from a broker. It's all here, every day. One of America's most impressive displays of large, rare diamonds, along with the most sought-after designer rings in the world. International Diamond Center, your direct diamond importer. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. In this week's Marketers Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Annuity guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. DBA in Florida as Trajan Wealth Insurance Solutions. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Tractor Supply. UConn's men's basketball team did arrive in Phoenix for the Final Four safe and sound, but they were several hours late because of flight-related delays. Fox Sports and AEG will launch the 16-team college basketball crown in March at tournament will feature teams that missed the NCAAs. And a hockey where the Lightning will try to keep their late surge going tonight in Montreal, the Bolts could trim the gap with third-place Toronto to two points. I'm Scott Davidson. Doug Gottlieb here. Just like in basketball, a successful game plan starts with having the right players. The MVP team at Tractor Supply brings both hustle and heart. That's what really sets them apart. So lace up your sneakers and make winning plays by heading to your local Tractor Supply store today. Local sports talk on your lunch hour. Jay and Zach. Tomorrow at noon. Yeah! 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 Now back to The Drive with T-Kratz on WDAE. And streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. The Final Drive. You know, the NFL brings in about $12 billion a year in revenue, and that number keeps rising. The league has never been more profitable. But they also run the NFL Network, and they've made a number of boneheaded decisions. The first of which... Moving Good Morning Football, not just the best show on the network, one of the best shows on TV, abruptly picking up that show and moving it from New York to L.A. 
And when they did so, they didn't even tell the stars of the show, like Kyle Brandt and Peter Schrager. They got families, too. They told them after the fact. That's poor management by the NFL and the NFL Network executives. And then today came word that they cut four pretty good professionals, including Andrew Siciliano and Melissa Stark, Will Selva, and James Palmer as well. Really dumbfounding moves made by the NFL in how they operate their network. If they can operate their network as well as they operate their on-field product, and there's some problems there, then maybe we wouldn't be bashing them enough. Shame on them. They stink. The final drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got a drive for you. He's a bum. Come on. Terrible. So, uh, tomorrow, by, by the way, we want to thank our guests. Eric Neander was awesome. So was Mark Topkin. want to thank all of you and the two winners, Daniel, uh, Daniel in Clearwater and Drew in St. Pete, who won the Drive Night Out tickets. Now, tomorrow, again, we're off because of the Rays. So have a wonderful weekend. Raise up. Go Boats tonight in Montreal. And we'll talk to you guys Monday afternoon at 3 o'clock. You're dismissed. Come on. Get out of here. Get out. I don't want to be associated with that guy. He's a loser.